time. Yeah, we are actually going to go live now. Yeah, we're okay. going live. All right, sure. We're going live, and I'm going to put the. <laughs> My bad. My bad. My bad. Most guys get serious eye bags as they No, that's how they get you there. Don't go. Look at him. Here. Is it working? Is our stream functioning? Yes. yes. Oh, All right. I'm seeing, I'm seeing the line from Jeremy Yates. Jeremy Yates you, is here in the building Lovely. with us currently. And Thank you for everyone for being patient with us. We did have a few little tech issues, believe it or not. First time ever. What a shocker. <laughs> um, I haven't seen – Nolan hasn't appeared yet. We haven't got a while no. on yet, so sit tight. Uh, hopefully he will not be playing golf instead of helping us do this. <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> Jeremy, do you want to introduce yourself? Give the background for people who don't yeah. know your title, your work ethic, and your credits. Uh, sure. Yeah. Well, thanks for having me on. Uh, I I came somewhat prepared. I, I brought a folder full of uh, goodies, images, and uh, and videos to, to show you all. So yes. uh, actually had actually had more. I had like probably triple the amount of things that I could have shown, but I wasn't able to get legal clearance uh, in time for oh. this. So. So everything I'm, I'm showing is is part of some like GDC talk or, you know, things have been out there, but I've got it all collected together. So we'll kind of like show things as we as we play along and we'll kind of do it that way. And what was your title at Naughty Dog or currently still? Uh, so, yeah, so I currently am the animation director, uh, but on Uncharted 4, I was lead animator. And so essentially, yeah, I can share this so here's a little bit a, a background of oh yes uh, let's we're gonna do, do we go stuff. straight into yeah, show yeah. and tell we're going straight into show and tell guys this is amazing there so jeremy's actually brought videos images from uncharted from the production side of things so, to be able to share stuff. with us so that we oh yeah. yeah and other stuff so we can actually watch and he can guide us through how they developed it which is happening right now uh, but yeah, so this is a little little background on me. So I started uh, my career in the VFX industry and did uh, VFX and uh, character animation. Uh, and so as you can see, kind of screen left. So I used a program called Lightwave uh, yeah. a lot back in those days. Okay. Uh, and then uh, kind of a jack of all trades. So I was doing pretty much everything except rigging characters, like character modeling, lighting, texturing, animation, compositing. Uh, and so I learned a lot kind of like during my time uh, in, in doing in that kind of thing. And then uh, 2002, I moved, switched careers into games. I had actually started in games before film. Really? Uh, and I switched back to, to games and uh and i've been a naughty dog ever since and i love the studio in? how do they yeah. drag you into that <laughs> you know it so when i when i started uh my, when I, my very first job i started as an intern at a game studio in san diego and which one they didn't know it was called blue sky software well, oh, what uh, they, they, what did they make so so uh 989 studios so so it's essentially become sony so it was originally blue sky software That's not then they became 989 studios so it's like all the baseball games like they've oh, been doing that forever yeah. and then i joined this like little department it was the action games department and uh and so there was this kind of small group of us uh working working on that and when they when i first got hired i, I was hired like pretty much straight out of school uh, and I, uh, they didn't know what to do with me. They didn't have an internship before okay. and they're just like, yeah, okay. They give me minimum wage and they, they literally put me on a, on a folding table outside of the cubicles. I hadn't, I was like in the dark, there was like no light and they had a, a computer <laughs> that they took off. It was like a doorstop somewhere. They're like dusting this thing. Like, oh, you know, just give them this thing. What were you and using? Wooden was, it chair. A was it a 386? What they had? Oh, <laughs> probably, yeah, probably a 386. Uh, and uh, Actually, yeah, I didn't, I didn't. I'm sure. Yeah, this was wow. so. This was 1996. Wow, turn yeah. the 95, 96. So, up, 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 oh yeah, yeah. It was it was 
a long time ago. Uh, so and then on. is let me just say I'm just going through Blue Sky Software's history of software, one of which is yep. the title Soft Porn Adventure in 1981. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I, that must be a different Blue Sky. I hope yeah, so, it, nothing like, of the kind is there. That's amazing. I'm assuming it's a different one because they made yeah. you know, Ninja Golf and things like that. You know, I presume. Did you work on Ninja Golf? No, it's before your no, time. no, yeah, that was, that was before my time. <laughs> Ninja uh, Golf. Cinephobe. I think. I yeah. So that that was my that was my kind of intro, and wow. it's funny. So right here, you can see I have this Ed 209 model. So before I was doing CG, I was you know I was making this type of stuff, and. Uh, uh, I had had this model and I kind of brought that to work on my desk and uh, you know that my boss at the time is just like I don't really know what you should do just make stuff you know just like just just I don't know just model things I'm like okay so I, I modeled and animated this Ed 209 and hadn't really shown anyone I was uh, kind of going to school at the time so this was just kind of a part-time job and I um, made this kind of this Ed 209 uh, animation and yeah. the art director saw it. And coincidentally, Orion Pictures came to the studio that day huh. and were like, we wanted that the PlayStation 1 was about to come out. And so they were wow. looking for a studio that could make a Robocop game. And he's oh, like, wow, wow. Look, look what we're working on right now. And it was a complete coincidence. And because of that, we got the job to do a demo for them. And so I went from intern to lead artist on this, on this project <laughs> uh, you know, overnight. And, um, and yeah, it's, 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 it's kind of like my kickstart to, to the career and uh, Wait, went to, yeah. Did I see a, did I see a clip of you animating Scorpion? That's not from the movie, is it? Yeah. So the, so the, uh, after wow. that, time of the game studio I went into the VFX uh, industry and we worked on Mortal Kombat Conquest which is the, the TV series I love that <laughs> so uh, so yeah you can see sub zero in there this is from from Mortal Kombat uh, so yeah it was fun like every week it was such a tight okay. schedule like every week we'd have I'd have like three new shots to do from scratch you know it was just like there's really? nothing it's just like you you need them you know here's a background plate go. Uh, and so because of that, I learned a ton about just, just every little aspect of it. Um, but then also just efficiency yeah, uh, sure. and, and how to do a lot with a little, I mean, it's a small budget. Um, oh, and so 2002, I came over to Naughty Dog as an animator and back. So this was during Jack two. So yeah. for, before I came, they had the, uh, the, um, modelers they they modeled rigged uh, and animated the characters like all the background characters like it was you know one or two people that did all of those things wow. and so i came in as as and just an animator so i could wow. focus just on the animation side and so i came in and um animated all of the creatures in jack two and three all the enemies everything you fight wow. uh animated all those and then and when i was done with that I don't have the rig, yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, but yeah, the middle screen, you can see a bunch of the enemies uh, that I animated in those oh, two wow. games. Uh, and then anytime I'd have time, I'd, I'd work on a cinematic uh, sure. for them. So you can see some of those clipped in. Yeah, wow. And then then so, yeah, PlayStation just, 3 came out. Just just to clarify as well, because I'm not going to lie, this is a world, and I'm sure there's people out there as well, that I I actually know very little about the structural process of it. So I might ask a yeah. few noob questions. Hopefully there's sure. some noobs at home as well. When you're designing these characters, are you getting like a character brief outline? Are you getting like a kind of a, a ballpark figure as to what they want to be? Or are you literally dreaming these guys up and going, how's this look? So, yeah, I mean, I mean, I can talk definitely back in the day because things have gotten more refined, uh, you know, the way we do things now. Um, yeah. But back in the day during the, the PS2 time, uh, we'd have a concept artist. I would sit next to the concept artist, and uh, and and Mark would basically draw out a number of of uh, you know different views of of, of the character, and then uh, it would get sent over to the character team, and they would model and, and rig it, and then they would give it to me, and I'd have a week to make this character work in game. Uh, and nice. um, 
So yeah, there was really no blueprint as far as like how it would move. It was it was more just like, you know, make it happen. I would I would look at it and and yeah. you know I'd, I'd kind of work out what makes sense to me and uh, and kind of do it that way. And it was a lot of fun. Yeah. You work out the uh, physicality know, kind of based on their limbs and their structure right. and size and you know right. posture and things like that, right? And, and we had very few frames to work with. I mean, now the, the you know, memory is, uh, you know, RAM is a huge oh, yeah, part really of cool. animation yeah. and games. What could you build? Like, cause you, are you like, how many? Oh yeah. You're, you're like, like, so one character on PlayStation two, we could probably afford, I don't know, like 200 frames total for wow. the, the entire move set, everything. And wow. so I would literally be counting frames where it's like, okay, I have 16 frames to work with here. I need four more frames to make this other animation, make a, you know, make a splash. And so I'd figure out how to like trim out like single wow. frames from other animations so I could add it in uh, to another animation. And wow. now it's a whole different thing. We didn't even think about memory almost, you know. Uh, yeah, now it's like, more like we run out of people resources before we run <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, like, is that computer. weird? Like the the level of fidelity expected or demanded now, where you've got to you've got to have like eyebrow hair waving in the wind and stuff. Like right, that. right. Oh, okay, I guess you got a lot of like support systems to to build into the game. Like, you've, is it crazy how much the technology has moved forward? Like, do you have a lot of like stuff that you can go? Well, I'll just sort of paint that on top. And that'll take care of the physics of the hair and it'll take care of the yeah. physics and stuff like that. Or do you still have to like kind of get into it? Uh, I would say probably by Uncharted 3, that's when we stopped needing to worry too much about animation budget, you know, as far as like a hardware right. budget. Wow. Uh, and, and that's really where we, it was just like, we would just run out of time. You know, we'd run out of like people resources. Like I don't have enough animators to do any more and you know, than, than, than this. Um, yeah. But we we started uh, something called, um, at least for, for our studio, called streaming animation. And that enabled us to take an animation and, and basically read it from the hard drive instead of from RAM. So oh, wow. when we did that, you could essentially have an animation that could be 10 hours long. Yeah. Uh, and that was yeah. that was something that we you know never could have done before. Um, and you, you know, there's certain faster or something like that, or just a better. Yeah, you know, we probably we probably ruined a lot of people's hard drives by <laughs> by using. <laughs> yeah, when your when your PlayStation like melted and set on fire, it might have been because we overdid it a little bit in that department. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, that must have been revolutionary. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It, for, for us, it was it was huge. Jeremy, one of the um oh, sorry. sorry, one of the viewers here, Excess, has asked if you could um. I guess in, answer a question of his if that's okay yeah, and it sure. was um how has your work changed when motion capture was introduced can i just quickly jump in there before jeremy can yeah. i just check to make sure everyone can hear pagan when she just asked that question did everyone hear pagan ask that question i heard just in the chat heard sure. um oh in the chat if we can just get a confirm from people watching on the youtubes yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, good. Yeah, I just yeah. wanted to clarify. Great. Great. Yes. Continue, Jeremy. Sorry. Uh, yeah. So I guess to answer the question of of how mocap changed things, it definitely changed things a lot. I mean, you can see, uh, you know, from from my pre Uncharted work, it was all very stylized, very squash and stretch. You know, very. You know, it was all kind of hand keyed, uh, and in fact. The job description when I first started Naughty Dog is they were looking for someone who, who looked at motion capture like a four letter word, you know, just like completely <laughs> against it. Wow. And uh, and I was wow. just like, yeah, that's me. Sign me up. Like, you know, <laughs> uh, and, you know, the as irony would have it uh, when we started um, working on Uncharted 1, uh, that's when we you know, the, the kind of the mandate is like, we want to make something that really pushes the, the graphic fidelity yeah. of the PlayStation three. Mm -hmm. And, and they, they wanted to do something realistic. And there was a little bit of resistance at first because the, the whole studio was built around, we were kind of like more like the Pixar of games, you know, and, yeah. and the whole studio was built around this kind of very stylized Jack and Daxter, you know, yeah. type world. And we had to, as a whole yeah. studio, figure all that out and learn uh, uh you know how realistic everything works mm. uh, and so for animation my my first actually assignment 
that I gave myself was, okay, we don't need mocap. I'm going to prove it. I can, I can, I can out animate as fast as we can motion capture. Wow. Uh, wow. And wow. that got me through one animation. I'm like, yeah, no, yeah, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you know, we, we really started to look into motion capture and, uh, it's, it's kind of changed over the course of, of the games Uncharted one. We almost use it as reference in the gameplay where we would, we would motion capture it. And then we would just take individual frames, uh, from the motion capture. We called it like tracing. So we'd like trace the first frame and the 10th frame and the 15th frame, and then just modify the poses like after a that frame kind of thing. Kind of. Yeah. So we treat it like a keyframe and, yeah. um, uh, by Uncharted two, you know, we just wanted more fidelity and that's, that's what you really get out of, of motion capture. Not, not only if the performances as well, uh, and, and the, the way that we would animate would change. So you become more of a director than, mm. than an animator. So you kind of wear both hats and, um, and that's something that I to now, I mean, I love working with actors and, and working on the stage. I think most of us, it's, it's one of our, favorite parts of the process is being on the stage and collaborating with people. So you, you mm -hmm. have to learn, you, you need a vision, right? You need it to, to know how you want it to look, how, what kind of the end product is. And then you get to play on stage, you know, with, with your friends, friends. and, yeah. and mm -hmm. like, let's, yeah. let's kind of like act this out and, and play together and, and, and kind of work things out. And, um, uh, Jeremy actually has some amazing, voice, you know? Jeremy has some amazing footage that he'll show later too, where he's actually, on the stage for uncharted and running through like some of the combat sequences with his other crew and uh, it's amazing rocket launches guns like it's it's incredible so he'll, he'll bring yeah. that up later too yeah um do you have have you spotted because we've got a thousand questions coming in jeremy oh, so mm. have you spotted any pagan that you can pull through to ask jeremy i haven't no I'm i know trying to, was... Todd, i'm trying to keep up into the actual game unless there's something you want to specifically show at yeah. this point in the in the in the lesson jeremy um <laughs> well i think the first part right that we're going to show is more of the puzzle so we could talk over that uh, yeah great then, oh yeah yeah we'll, 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 yeah we'll 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 not get through any game which is fine but um <laughs> that's it we'll and then once through. we go once we go to uh back out into the market then we'll kind of switch gears and we can talk about i have lots of little things to that we could oh yeah show, I yeah, show I off gotta, in the I game there your brain on some of this so I had okay we're going to switch to the uh I was saying this to Josh last time yeah, I'm gonna um, turn this. That on the games I've worked on that um, everyone was jealous of Naughty Dog because of the kind of stuff that you guys can pull off, like in terms of, you know, that market scene. They're like, we can't do that. Like, we don't have the yeah. meters or the resources or the, like, the assets. And I was like, well, there you go. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, I, that's something that I, I am incredibly fortunate. Uh, all of us are um, as, as animators at Naughty Dog. And uh, animation has been a big part of the studio, you know, from the very beginning. And even Crash Bandicoot and, and definitely yeah. Jack and Daxter. And Sony has been such a great partner with us. They uh, give us the the freedom to make things as cool as we want them. And you know, I know that's something that that's not freely given. It's it's something that you know we we have to continually earn. Uh, but it for for us, it's it's wonderful, and uh, we were able to. Um, just push boundaries in in so many different ways that um, that that's why I love to work here, and that's why why I love to, yeah, to kind of work cool. every day. Is is we're constantly trying to to find new ways to do things and add more details to things, or you know uh, refine the process. Uh, hey, Pagan, and, sorry, yeah. just a quick side note: Is there a way I can turn down the game sound in my ears, Pogan? Because it is so <laughs> loud that I can't hear anyone. Stop, yeah, stop which, stop where, where, where it from? So you can either. It's actually also loud on OBS. So if you could turn it down in Streamlabs, please, that'd be cool. Yep. Is that desktop? Um, it would be wherever the game is bouncing at the moment. Okay. Yeah. It's crazy to me seeing the evolution of a game studio where you go from something like Crash, like Crash Bandicoot and then you suddenly end up with like Last of Us Two, where you're like, Jesus, like it's. You can see that you can see the, the, the path that is incredibly gone for like. 
You can also turn it down. Some of the most iconic kind of cartoony Warner yeah. Brothers style kind of character. In game. <laughs> oh yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Because as soon as I've got any like sound happening, and, you know, groundbreaking games and a whole. I can't hear story. anyone. Really cool. So let me just sorry. I'm just going to fiddle. Uh, yeah, audio, little effects. Remember last week when Josh took us through the whole sound thing? And how you That's right. Audio? Remember yeah, that? We can change audio. I love that. <laughs> we added a whole audio section of the uh, the menus. They were very yep. proud of it. They've added that. That's advanced. Okay. I don't know if that's going to be better. How do you feel? <laughs> how is Sully, like, John, how has he got a spine? <laughs> yeah, it's the same way Drake still has all his fingers. Oh, my God. Yeah, I've sure, hung why not? Like, you know, 20 seconds, and I'm like, he's not. Yeah. How is he doing See what's down here. Yeah. Piles of gold. Is that a balance for everyone? How's that? <laughs> Seems good. If you can turn up Liam a little bit, Jeremy's coming in loud and clear, yeah. but just Liam. Talk right again, Lee. Make your way over here. <laughs> Hello, Liam. Talk up. again. Hi. Right. Good. It's me. Just me talking levels. Check. Check one, two, one. See, three. he's maxed. All right. No, so I'll just talk it's, louder. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. That's yeah it. If you could just talk just project, louder. bro. <laughs> yeah, I'll just you yeah, from oh, the good. diaphragm. Oh, good. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I don't even know if I have. Look, I'll be. I'll be soon. I'll be transferring to my man cave. Do you want me to get the mic? Do you want me to get the weird mic I can hold? Can't hold. <laughs> okay, we get, always love you. I'll get the weird mic. I love you. No, you don't have to. It's okay. Let's go. All right. Tell me if I'm doing anything noob, because I haven't played had this playthrough yet. So. I'm well, fresh. That's fair. Look at this animation. Beautiful and seamless. Um, <laughs> Jeremy, somebody had asked before regarding yeah. um, concept artists. Do you know anything about um, uh, what a concept artist's job is like at <gasps> Naughty Dog? Is that something Sully, you can answer? Where are you uh, yeah, 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 I can talk a little bit about it. Uh, oh. I don't know what's, what's different, different about Naughty Dog versus, Dog versus <laughs> other studios. Avery, uh, Thomas but the... Partners in crime. Essentially, they, they do most of their work in Photoshop. They do a lot of, I mean, they're, they're brilliant the way that, that they, they have their, their whole system. They, uh, a lot of them actually model uh, a lot of the backgrounds in 3D. Uh, they'll use Blender or you know, various 3D Fires. packages and build out this kind of base and then they do paint on top. And it's incredible because, you know, I look at the work they do and it looks like a frame out of a, of a movie. And you can't believe that, that someone just drew this from nothing. Uh, and, and it's it's so inspiring, uh, you know, the, the, the work that they do because they're kind of the, the first look at things, you know, like that's the vertical slice in a lot of ways where we can see when you see all that, that detail put together, it fills in so many, you know, uh, images in your own mind okay. of how things would move or you know it you know what we can make yeah. this game yeah, look like so because a lot of the times when we're working on the game early on i mean we're working with block mesh everything's kind of it looks something like you know minecraft or something so you have to imagine like okay someday it's going to look like that uh and so yeah I, I the work of the concept artist is incredibly important uh for for the whole production Awesome. Thank you so By much. By the way, Thanks Mel's now, just gifted me. memberships she to has. people yes, in thank the you so chat. Much, Mel. Legend, Mel. Hey. By the way, what is cool. this puzzle? Um, Jeremy, you remember this one? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, and I remember this was very difficult. <laughs> it's okay. It's not that difficult. So come away from the tiles, Todd. Come away from I mean, there's, there's too many yeah. permutations. Yeah. To say we that door leads. They're like a puzzle so master and some there. like cancer graduate. Oh, let's just go through the door. Okay. Like, yeah. It's a great person who just thinks of puzzles. Hey, look, I was. Yeah, I mean, there, there, I think this is all uh, the work of the design Blended. team. Well, uh, well, we have, uh, uh, let's find out. We call them layout designers or level designers, and they. Uh, they're in a way the well, director of the level. Almost as impressive you know, as you they kind of own oh, you know a certain level and mm. uh, just all the interaction yeah. and, and how that works, a... the the path that the player takes, a... um, mm. uh, just kind of like all the little mm. nuts and bolts that, yeah. that kind of come together. They're yeah. they're kind of like the central hub that all the different departments uh, work uh, directly that's right. with. Content by Billy the writers, right? That's the right. one <laughs> yeah. like, we can't no, do that. No. It's not. Yeah. Uh, we, we just can't make that happen. No. Oh, man. Hmm. Well, what you know, it, as Josh said, it's, it's something that the, the writing <laughs> and design of the game yeah. are go hand in hand. 
yeah. sorry to cut across oh, you there, Jeremy. Yeah, 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 uh, Todd, yeah. you're looking for hey, a little hey. square. So right there in front of you oh, is yeah, that the um, yeah, painting. Yeah. Another yeah. star. If you focus in on that. These stars, right. just like the ones on the Avery and Two sigils in the other room. Oh, I see. Or, well, I guess not a Baroque, but like, there's like a. You're going to need to use your turn. How do I use that? Like these kind of. Touch the touchpad in the middle. Classic masters paintings. It's just for, just oh, for yeah. part of the level. Oh, yeah. Insane. Yeah. Do I have to yeah. draw? Yeah, and that's, and that's the concept mm -hmm. artist. You know? Yeah. They just, just do that. And they're, and they're, they're incredible. Just, they're just. I like, don't have to draw hey, anything. We three incredible mm -hmm. paintings that are like. Yeah. If you hover. Um, massive. Yeah, go into each painting in the Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember I. This is another so one of those star patterns. This game, yeah, but I but this one is sure different one than the first one. Oh, yeah. Good is catch. One of the background Thank artists. You. See, I'm not oh, really? Really? That's yeah. so cool. There must be some amazing Easter eggs in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I think uh, everywhere there's like some little thing. In Uncharted 3, I uh, have two both sigils. my kids' names the scrawled into the, uh, the bar fight bathroom. Too. Uh, really? So you see Jalen and Chase like in the background. It ended up in the trailer, mm. uh, and and actually like that whole room. Uh, you know, when you first look in the bathroom, you just see like graffiti everywhere, and there is an Easter egg somewhere where it's like everyone's kind of name. You know, that they're able to, to get in there, and then Uncharted Four. Can you pop that down, there, Todd. Uh, pop that the... down. So and put away. One. So sorry. And oh, no, no. Away? If you put the piece of paper down. Um, yep. Yeah, if you'd like press the sword or something, yep. and you move to the next piece of paper, yeah, Okay. click that one, and then twist that over. So yep. you want to get the little squares on the, on or the little triangles on the edge of the oh, paper so to match like the that? other side. Counterclockwise. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Counterclockwise, god damn it. Um, that's the same then with the other side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah flip that clockwise. Nailing this. Nice. Now, Pop that you down. go back to oh, the yeah. tiles. You'll see the same images know. on the tiles, and you need to put those images the same way. So you can pop uh, that down. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this. Go back to the down. tiles. Okay, skeleton left, unicorn thing right, dragon <laughs> down. Yeah, that's it exactly. And okay. Just head over to the tiles, and you'll be able to. Go before I forget. Before four. I forget. Uh, yeah. So on, on Uncharted Four, uh, in the orphanage scene. Uh, when young Drake is, have you guys gotten to that yet? Young Drake um, is sneaking out of the orphanage. Not just yeah, yet. The the okay, okay, okay. So then you'll see that coming. Hello, Uncle Noli. So Uncle Noli. Hey. That's it. Yeah. Oh, hey. oh, okay, he's they back. Are, uh, Good luck, Todd. Now you're gonna find it's a way to right pirates out there, you know. So we're stuck. No. Do we need him? Give me your phone. <laughs> yes, you do. What, you're going to find <laughs> ideally, ideally, Close. Yes. Ideally, you have a lot of knowledge. Copy solo link. Okay, so I want Text a new browser source. You, Boom. Hat. Yes, please, new browser source. Copy <laughs> in, and you should click the box to share via audio. Share audio via Streamlabs. Oh, oh yeah, click that box. Let's... Yep. Wait. Mm -hmm. Wait. Look at your dad like that. Can you need me to, can, not, can you not hear me? I can hear no, you. No, we can yeah. hear you. Now. We're we just hear building you into the stream. I just thought it was the game. Oh, no. It's not the game. I thought it was the actor. But not... <laughs> Is that Jeremy Yates? Oh, yeah. God. Did you look at that? The, the, the How are you? He is the This was the guy who tortured me for all the in-game cinematics. That sounds right. Oh, yeah. Normally, we don't let people that are more attractive than Todd come on the stream, but this one time, we thought we'd make an exception. Well, you're on the stream, bro. Let's get settled down. <laughs> Hello, Nolan. How are you, mate? Well, hello everybody. Good to hello, see you. What'd you what'd you what'd you hit today? You get under eighty? You get a sub eighty today on the course or what? I didn't I didn't get to go on the course. I had some oh. family in town and I'm going to see my dad in the morning. I, I just been crazy busy just living okay. life. But okay, that's I fair enough. Nathan Drake has like, from all over the place. <laughs> I'll just check your time. WhatsApp. Check what's up. Uh, we're uh, the uh, we're just in the been in the marketplace. The yeah. giant bell's fallen down through the floor of the church. Uh, there's a puzzle of some kind. It's very hard. There's some beautiful, beautiful Renaissance. Well, not Renaissance paintings, but maybe like one. The middle one looks baroque. Yeah. It's very fancy. There's a lot of there's a lot of impressive. Well, I'm I'm very excited to see Jeremy. After all, I mean, this is the genius that used to like literally. Crack my ribs for God's sake! <laughs> you know, I feel I still feel terrible about that. You know, no. I, I tell people I said it was really a cool thing. So, is there, 
one of my favorite things that Jeremy and I, and I remember, I'll never forget this, is there was a thing where I stand in kind of the ready position, and then there'd be an explosion, and like from behind me, and I had to do this, and I kept there. doing it. This looks fake, and he goes, "No, it's all right." And I said, "You know what? This is just." Shove me! Don't tell me. Oh no! When you shove it, and we went through a series, and then there'd be an explosion from the right side. We pushed me from the right, pushed them behind. It was it was like the last shot of the day. I remember, we're like, okay, just one more, and oh, then no, that that's was... the worst thing to do ever. Yes, every, yes. every set I've ever been on, the stunt guys, they're like, well, just do one more of those, just quickly, and you're like, well, someone's yeah. getting injured. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. It was you this time. Yes. So did he just like? One for the road, you I kind of pushed thing? just like, a little too stuff. hard. Well, I don't know I what had, I had, to be fair to Jeremy. I had fallen off my bike, uh, not like oh, I hit a curb. I mean, I was going downhill pretty quick and oh. came around a corner and go, Oh no, and I went over. So I had Todd, to the test it's so loud. Todd, you'll need to change your team up. Keep running. Yeah, and I fell down, down and I got up to one knee. and He goes, Get up, keep running. And I was like, I yeah. can't. I oh no. Can't. <laughs> and that's where I had hurt my sternum. Oh, that, no. That, remember, then, Jeremy, remember, we, then we had to do the thing where he's pushing the, that, uh, when he's underwater and you have to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Players yeah. Are playing track and they had, yeah. This, yeah. had this thing oh, that made me oh, four pounds. It was all PVC piping. Yeah. It was supposed to be the big. Oh. You know, like, and I'm pushing it, and I, they literally had to lift that thing oh, no. up. Oh, <laughs> Push anything. <laughs> Hasn't hit the gym in a while. Yeah, oh, I know. That's oh. terrible. That's so yeah, was it after that that you get terrified every time I show up at the stage? These were great stories. These were great things that happened. It was the best. Yeah. You know? uh, I, I remember every time nice you, you guys would do treasure, maybe kind of we fully of cinematic shoot, yeah. and then he would have guys. like, okay, okay, Jeremy, you get the last hour, so I'd show up. Better. And hey, so then the him. look on your face when you see me walk into the room is like, oh, okay, Jeremy's going to work. I thought I had a short day, and then Jeremy walked in. Oh, no. <laughs> we're just getting started. Yeah, we're just like, you know, we're doing it. Just well, I, your days. I thought I was like, oh, wow, two scenes? Woo, this is great. Then it's like, yeah. no, Jeremy's coming. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Oh, well, have it's you ever worked face. with Tom Keegan Looks in like your time? be anywhere else. Oh, yeah. Mm. Not on okay. this. No, 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 this, obviously. But did you get the full warm up? You get the, get the yeah. full start of day warm up? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. See, you know, like you can have that too. You got you to implement Jeremy, this as a whole, like, you can take these off and. Whole thing. Jeremy was like when you expect no. dirt mm. and somebody brings mm. you like gazpacho. Gazpacho. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I thought I was gonna have like mm. some chocolate mousse, maybe a nice cobbler. Yeah. No, here's some cold <laughs> borscht. Here's some Zoom in on that one, Todd. <laughs> yeah, because all the all the work we would do was hard. I mean, it was like physically hard. Where you know, know, we're, we're doing, doing no move sets, sets and, though, so you know, it's, I would imagine yeah. it's no, it's no, there's no stress nah. for him. I was, I, well, I got it. I was, just, I think midway to hmm. three, bit of a specimen, and then it was just. It all was just, uh, it was, it was bad. It oh, you you were just rich off the Uncharted money by then. And you just were like, you know, I have to worry about it. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, you know, we have a stunt group. <laughs> Sorry, where do I zoom in on this guy? <laughs> this is killing me. <laughs> Freaking hell. Clothing. No. Okay, let's. I'm going to check out this mm. gameplay. Like, what's look at doing? the pain. Yeah. I think that's what no. they made it. They made yeah, it I'd like to look at the pain, but it's not yeah, that's me. it. Mm. It's going to be there. Yeah. Uh, no, no. I'm going to. I'm going to mute no. myself a second. Mm. I have to answer a phone call. Yeah. Oh, no, you, just have a chat. Let, we can't. Yeah. Don't let us read your lips. Did you Otherwise, get all we'll get your social security number that way. There you go. Did I get all these guys? Yeah. I've heard I'm coming in really hard. Don't you want this silhouette? Looks like Ian Baldridge were in Do you remember this intricately? Jeremy, <laughs> I I don't. I'm I'm reliant on uh, Pagan. You've played it more recently. I have. Yeah, there's no problem. Oh, as long as you're getting them all. You're you still in the tower? Yeah, just, uh, can you take down. a photo of Sully in this? Is that a thing you can I'll do? I'll fill you in later. You can. For now, just tell me who's who. I remember that. Well, the, the Dolphins are Richard Warren. The Triton is Joseph Farrell. And the so I heard that I'm I'm showing up just as a silhouette. All right, great. Just Stay where there's good oh, yeah, we could use a little bit of light on you, but I'm yeah, wondering it's only because we've got light behind this. this is over. I'm gonna I'm gonna close these and see if that it's makes any difference. I love it. I like he's back to it. I get oh, it. This is right. really bright off my. Yeah, I'm gonna turn real quick. All right, Jeremy's gonna get the bright light off the computer. Do I have to inspect it? I'm uh. I just I got family visiting and it's been nice. Is it chaos, Nolan? Are you okay? 
Oh, it's great. It's great. Right. That makes zero difference. If you need help, all right? No. Okay, so it's now, now what? Arch. Wait, he blinked once, twice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's fine. Mm -hmm. um, Down here. Yeah. I feel like that's wrong. Yeah, beside the sword. Oh, you yeah. little sneaky I, I square. I enjoyed you explaining mm -hmm. your, um, your mocap experiences, because did you ever see that video? I can't remember okay. what it's much. And now the other painting the, the, the guy that's yet. doing mocap, and it's just, you know, you're stabbing demons. What is that statue? Stab the dragon. Holy shit, what was Maybe a pearl? Uh, Mad TV. Okay. Mad TV. Yeah. 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 Mad TV. So yeah, you got the demons. You're stabbing them. And yeah, and then also yeah, and, you, the, and the blood that, they, that comes out of them helps your health. So you're gonna yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, this is the best. This is the best. <laughs> now, the only thing they ever did to me is they in Uncharted Three, um, they got me up on the the and uh, they had the horses. They brought in real saddles on these like wood blocks, basically. Yeah. And, and I just had to get on these things and, and uh, you know, just kind of, and I, and I just kind of would do this. And they said, okay, now, now the horse is going faster. So I start doing this. Like, you're looking back and you shoot. That it? it? You know that? And then they started playing, my little pony, my yeah. little pony. Like, Try that. Okay. And then everybody laughed. People are taking pictures. And I'm oh, trying no. to be professional. I'm like, okay, you guys, whatever. And then we finished, and I think it was Jeremy. Back he here. goes, okay, well, let's do it again. And I'm like, I'm not doing that again. He goes, no, excuse me. You can't move on the horse. I said, what? He goes, the horse's mechanics will actually right. cause the character to move. When you move, it, it ruins it. All right. right. So right. That was rig up a little, little Nolan and, and make goes, him yeah, do the physics. That was yeah. all our uh, Last of Us 2, we actually captured real horses. Okay. So that was that was a super fun. Uh, you mo you mo uh, we mocap we mo -cap horses. Uh, I, I just want to make sure All Sam knows. Jeremy's uh, saying they got a, they, they stuck a bunch of balls uh, on horses and went go for it, guys. Yeah, yeah. They so they, we shot this down at at uh, San Diego stage, and they they had a, they basically you know those rubber mats that are uh, under like you know like your gym, yeah, like those like black rubber gym, mats. Yeah. So they literally had to buy the world supply of these. Like there was a shortage or something, and they they literally like Shit. two days before the shoot, a torch uh, finally got something. them in because they had to do the special ground. Like the horse trainer said, like no, you can't just like, yeah, we can't just run these horses on anything. Like they have to have these like certain pads. They don't want them to slip or get hurt. So they built out this huge set. Uh, they they moved all the cameras. I mean, the San Diego stage is, is pretty massive. Uh, and they made it, made it as large as possible. Oh, yeah, yeah we, 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 we had to get a uh, horse up to a full like sprint. Huh. Wow. We're like oh, a man. second, and then they have to stop really horse. quickly before they hit the wall. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was it was incredible. Huh. Yazid I did that in Spartacus, where they had like a small sound stage, and they're like, run up this hill, Muggles. and then stop before you fall off the hill, because that's the end of our set. I'm like, okay, go horse, please don't kill me. I'm like, oh, Jesus. At the bottom of his red sash. But yeah, better that you're on the face. I just care about any of the conversation. He's just deep in Do you know how focused I am on this this bloody quiz? This is killing me. I didn't say it, but you're like 30 minutes into this puzzle. I'm just going to, I'm just pointing that out. 30 minutes in is it's in one a good of the way? harder puzzles it is okay. like, i don't want to hear excuses i just want to see results that's what i'm here man this is killing me i want to just blast some fools yeah well you don't even have a gun right now my friend. <laughs> or grapple hook them yeah you should oh wait be... i gotta read it was there at any stage the grapple hook was a weapon that you could like get over here scorpion style people <laughs> i haven't got one I of wish. those todd uh, okay so i gotta cool. go i mean i'm not again. saying it's a terrible idea i could get behind that well, yeah, on here. Thanks. Thanks. We'll do. We'll do like I, a, a like no, a there's DLC one thing for like a of I like when we. I, I meet. Oh. I'll, I'll talk to fans, and they're like, hey, "I don't understand why you this guys one? didn't have a grapple hook from mm -hmm. the beginning." Like because they didn't know how to do oh, that. Yeah, found the they, stars. They didn't know how to yeah. make a grapple hook work in the mechanics. All right, and, and, the and names of two of right you. Speaker, should still be able to figure this out. It yeah. wasn't the ability to make that through the. Oh place. yeah, it was. It we couldn't do that on PlayStation Three for sure. Or it would. It would be. That, like so so i remember um uh what was that game heavenly sword oh, so oh, yeah. that was a game with the you know yes. that, that girl had a really long yeah. ponytail or something it was andy and, circus's game right yeah and mm -hmm. i heard 
I mean, I didn't work on the game, so maybe I'm just hearing bad rumors, but I heard that, that in order to just get that ponytail to physically work, that took up like so much of the game's resources to just do that. Now, I mean, it's, you know, fast forward to Uncharted 4, PlayStation 4, we've got like Nathan Drake's like chest hairs moving in the wind. Oh, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like the details. Balls on each little hair. Yes, I, I, it makes me think, like, because we were talking about animation and how hard it is to, like, especially back in the day, to actually find the memory for it. And it, all it makes me think of is Dead or Alive, <laughs> where there's some okay. animating going, That's look, it? the most mm -hmm. important thing in this game is to have boobs that move. I don't know how we're going to make it happen, <laughs> but we have to make it happen. <laughs> so, like, it's like you just keep re removing elements of the game and the background and stuff so that you can keep the boobs moving. That's, that's they did really, that like, really well. The I did a game... Animation. I did a game back in the day called Resonance of Fate. I don't and know that there, one. There's a whole scene where the woman keeps talking and she has these. She's it's it was a Japanese kind of anime kind of thing and it and they kept, and and I was like I kept going. <laughs> My character kept doing this like, yeah, whatever you need, we'll do it. And it was all about her boobs. It just oh oh and she and it was it was distracting and you're like. <laughs> Porn game? What am I doing? <laughs> but I got him doing it's, well. It's right. scene, then my character does this weird Upside down. I mean, there are different Let levels of game. I mean, I feel down. like the oh. stuff <laughs> that Naughty Dog does is a type of game, and then there's those kinds of games. Different, different but games. By the way, great game, well received. There you go. Uh, uh, cool uh, ah. Oh my god. The puzzle. He did oh, it. he did it. What do we got? Well, now it's, now uh, I'm not sure yet. Oh, now what am I doing? <laughs> Is it like Honey, and the Kids hey, and you've introduced the one who like said he's the pirate size? expert? Just saying. Oh, there's right. more puzzles? Oh, no, come on. Photo time. Let's go. Oh, that's one. All right. But did you see that? What was cool? It's like, did you see his shadow? <laughs> so it's hidden. It's a shadow of him. I mean, the details yeah. were, were yeah. insane. Yeah. And two. And two. Good counting, Nolan. Last one. Let me oh, see if you yeah. get this one. All Here of we this go. Interactive stuff, oh, Jeremy. Yeah, Did you have to animate so. all of that? Uh, yeah. So, so right now he's actually playing a, a cinematic, but a lot, I mean, all the, the 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 work that you saw with the puzzle, we call IGCs. It's essentially it's interactive what cinematic. What are you doing? So, you just took pictures. Uh, it's it's any oh. kind of cinematic that has some sort of a branching element or uh, smartphones, obviously. Any sort of you know yeah. stick input uh, or button gonna... input. Uh, so that's a separate department. So that's one of the, so, so basically I would oversee anything interactive. Uh, and so we had, oh my gosh, we had 1200 interactive scenes in the chart. 1200. So there's a lot of moving parts. Uh, and so, you know, we had to be a well-oiled machine and we'll, we'll kind of get into, to kind of like how we created some of those uh, with the motion capture process, but um yeah it's 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 oh, can't be there's a lot going on so, uh so, so yep yeah. oh, why didn't i see this before where it was like, like the beautiful mind shit. Um, what the hell are you talking about transition yeah. to gameplay style Sam, get cinematics? would that be the kind of thing if, if you can go from a cinematic to the stick immediately would you be in charge of something like that or is that, is that uh, like so like yeah so there's, there's I, that's definitely uh the the seamless transitions mm -hmm. was a big push so that, that we had uh on uncharted 4 yeah. and if you look at the previous yeah, games compared to it i mean no, there's so no, much work that went into that and uh um down to the, you know the way that the players uh, go in and out and then the camera that was a, a big thing that that i pushed for where it was the way that we did seamless camera transitions i actually have a slide uh i'll, I'll go out of order a little bit but since we're talking about it i'll i'll cue this up just missed guybrush three three woods cameo in the, in the game which makes me sad wow apparently there was a, a guybrush three woods cameo just before oh how times have changed talking about last week Oh yeah. Um, so yeah. So, so you can see, you can see here. So this was this was a you know the, the area that you guys played uh, last week. Yeah, yeah. We just played just uh, Notice how the camera like does this quick crash zoom in. 
Uh, that's pretty typical of, of these IGC animations where you're playing the game, you need this quick interaction, the game camera needs to be pretty far. You need you want it like a full shot of, of Drake, but we want to get in nice and close. He just needs to like, you know, talk about this tree, there's some markings on the tree, you know, so we need to kind of push the camera close to see that. The problem is you have this crash zoom and like, Listen, crash so zoom catch up with you uh, is really gonna take too big of a movement for something that should be pretty subtle what? and yeah. so well, i hated these realize, you know and, and, and are, <laughs> this one actually is isn't isn't even terrible but like even our games and a lot of games they're just like this quick crash zoom in and we do this thing we pull back out and get back to gameplay so uh so i had really pushed for sam um for God and liberty. Nathan, this you understand this system means? that we created these transition cameras. Let's see if What's going this on? one has it. Where we are. So notice here, as you approach this interact, there is this huge radius around around this interact, and it would slowly transition to a different different camera. You still have this is still gameplay camera. You still have full control, but based on the distance, uh, it would kind of already cue you up. So these, you know, it's these little things like that that helps kind of erase, you know, create things a little bit more seamless that hopefully the audience has no idea. You know, they're, they're not meant to see. Distance as a, as a way to stop the dolly in kind of thing. Right, right. So yeah, so now like this is how close I want the camera, you know, for this, uh, for the scene yeah, to start. Well. So now when you hit triangle, you're already there. Then you still made uh, and yeah. so, you know, and then we'll, we'll, we'll end, we'll start um, kind of with that close camera. And then as the player moves away, then we slowly over time and over distance transition back to, yeah, to the really real senior. camera. So, uh, so it's little things like that. I mean, even, even um, the way that the player moves to the triangle, so, th so they could be somewhere around this radius of the triangle prompt and then we want the we want drake to basically like walk into it perfectly lining himself up and getting right into the scene so that was a whole system and that went through like three different programmers uh to kind of like actually like get that to to, to ship um a huge complex system to, to do that and have you got yeah, to see a lot of this before, yeah, Nolan? Or is this kind of stuff you're getting start. to get an insight into as well? Wait, Definitely don't move tower. after this, Todd. No. Come on. Don't move after this, Todd. Oh, yeah, don't move. Don't move. Okay. Yeah, don't move. Don't move. Pardon me. So, so I, I guess, this. yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. let me let me switch. Uh, well, I'm going to switch here. Wow. So, so this was, uh, I think I Josh move? talked a little bit about it before, but okay. this was our live demo. So we showed... Uh, this sequence off at, at E3, and, and Bruce Straley was on the stage playing this in front of like a thousand fans. So they, they, you know, we had this whole intro cinematic that took like two or three minutes, and then it's gameplay. Bang. And you got the trophy? Yeah. Stage yeah. right. Stage right. So the audience is like so excited about this, and then he can't move, and he's just stuck there, you know? Uh, so yeah, so we, we built in that little trophy, but that was the right. second second time something went wrong on our live demo. Uh, <laughs> we talk, I talked to Josh about it's that. Never good. I talked to Josh about yeah. that last week. Todd, you can hide yeah. Jeremy's shared screen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, I can hide it as well. I can. Oh just yeah. Hide sorry. It. Either oh, way yeah. is fine. Oh yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Great. Thank you. Uh, uh, can we kiss? Can I kiss this guy? Is there a it was funny that when we mocap this, I remember we'd have to like we'd have just like some of the people who just uh, work behind the scenes just standing there. Oh, yeah, and really? On, and he just walk up. Excuse me. Pardon me. Yeah. yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. And had to do and we had to do passes. You know, you, you go through the volume, and turn around, and go back, and just yeah. just to, to cover every guy kind of like. Oh, like that's where we had 1200 scenes because all those start to add up. Oh, is he still a burst fire? Okay. Todd's all about the guns. He loves the guns. Let's see what's going on here. You want some of this shit? The amount of like the destructible stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so so that this was like a huge showcase for us. 
oh. internally even to no cool this is the power of the ps4 you know for yeah. us at the time is all the yeah. physics you know they're, they're happening at the same time this is beyond just some braid on the screen i mean this is like everything you know you can you can shoot those little like hanging bits of meat and they're gonna they're gonna move um if you go i think it's to the right there's so many little details like you could shoot like a, an inflatable rubber duck and it will deflate oh wow really yeah yeah you would never know because you're just you know you're in this moment everything's happening you, you don't think to you know it's stop like and, and you know test some of these things out but like yeah if, if you go over to the right i think there's about a couple of parts over there oh, and really? Uh, yeah, it's 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 incredible, like to, to see all the detail that Where's our the foreground department. You might have shown. I believe room. if I'm pointing the screen, you can't see. Uh, yeah, it's somewhere in one of these stalls. Oh, in this sort of oh, uh, in here. Is that it? Oh, no? oh yeah. Oh, that's yeah, amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. Oh, my God. Crazy, and you hear the little right? squeak wow. sound too. Can I actually that's destroy that car, or have I got to push through it? Uh, I remember, like in my like we've got a push turn. Okay. Ridiculous. Like I don't know if you remember playing Half Life Two for the first time. The physics yeah. Into that. Oh yeah. The, I remember like the power lines. Go upstairs. And then like yeah, even in was it like Fia, yeah. they had a bunch of like like destructible to like like bullet holes in walls and plates could fall on yeah. walls and stuff. And yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Physics are a lot of fun. But this is this was like on a different level. Just the the, the amount of stuff and. Bitch. Oh, come on. Don't make no one look bad. Don't make me look bad. Wow, 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 wow. This, who is this fool? I can feel that. Ouch. Yeah, you like those apples? This is on the easiest level, Todd. No, this I is like the most hardest. I like how both those guys wear the same shirts that day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are we matching? So, so this Perfect. sequence, I mean, this they was uh, one of our... This was one of our, our live uh, demos. And the way that these uses work, I mean, this is Climb essentially a kind of a playable trailer in a way like we want to show the audience in a short amount of time all the cool things that this game does yeah and so amazing. it's so choreographed where you know it's like we want a character to come out here because we really want to show the physics we really want to show our new melee system we want to show you know our jeep and that you can drive vehicles like there's so many little things that that we want to kind of like pack all in together and and then you know somebody usually the game director is playing this live on stage yeah so you have to make it look really good where it's like you don't want them to mess up yeah you know, yeah yeah, yeah true so like they're they're performing in a way too and you know like they're not making the character look bad they're trying to like be drake in that moment and you know and yeah like, like oh here yeah, yeah. And so, so there's yeah. so much there's work so much that goes work. into goes into kind of scripting these for the stage, for the stage demo, demo where where we want to make sure that he doesn't sure miss that headshot, headshot because that's going to be this cool yeah, little moment here. here. And so they'll so have they'll to have script, script it so it's like, okay, 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 you can't really you miss this. this. Uh, but it's this also is like almost live, open you know? world too. This is amazing. Yeah, this is amazing. Yeah. Wow. So the design of this, uh, this is Kurt Marginow, uh that you'll hopefully talk to, uh, I think maybe next or something. But right. hopefully, the, you know. So the, so there's the the design behind a level like this is you need to get, you don't want to get lost, right? You want to be able to naturally flow through this level, and yeah. so he designed it to all be on a hill. So essentially, you just have to think, like go down the hill. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so you know, matter whatever like path you take, you kind of just naturally know uh, which which direction to go. Just based on that. this town too. Yeah, is there an echo? Yeah, I'm getting an echo too. I wanna, I want a dollar value at the end screen. of Uncharted Four of all the damage that Drake's done across the entire. Because the sound in the game for me is terrible now. I don't know why it's gone really low and weird. Um, no, anyone else get an echo? No, maybe not. Keep driving. Keep driving. Keep driving. <laughs> Drive through the drama. Wow. Wow. Hold on. Get my license. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> so, like, with this vertical slice, and I guess I'm probably I'm yeah. assuming most vertical slices in most video games. Yeah. Are you trying to get? To right. Here's all of the new stuff we do. Here's all the cool elements we have. How can we essentially write a, a component of this story that, that shows off all of these awesome elements? So that you know whether. Yeah, it's and it's, it's kind of difficult because we don't we we tend to design the game you know obviously before we know which section that we're going to show yeah. off and so you know we have to have a good amount of the game uh, figured out and then we you know we figure out like okay 
hopefully like six months before we're going to do E3, before we're going to have some big uh, showcase, we figure out, okay, this section of the game is going to be the section. This is the 15 yeah. minutes that we're going to show right here. Then and you tweak it a bit to try and get, like, if you have, like, oh, we haven't done grappling hooks before, let's find a... Yeah, yeah, right and there. so that's, that's it becomes a vertical slice for us, so that's yeah. where all of the systems have to be yeah. stood up in a way that, like, can be playable. You know, sometimes we don't have every, you know, every different way that you can approach something, all the different edge cases, we have, like, we only need to show this one angle that you're going to do, so we'll polish just that one yeah, 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 uh, sure. for, for the demo. And then, like, by the time we ship the game, then we make it so, like, okay, we, you know, you can approach this in 50 different ways. Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, but, yeah, that this this becomes, uh, you know, graphically, we have to get everything running at 30 frames a second. So every department is is kind of working really hard to get, get their thing actually working the way we want it to and that that helps us determine like okay how big of a game is this going to be because now we figure out like okay six months we spend on a on a 15 minute section like this we have 20 hours of game left to do yeah. you know <laughs> yeah. so that's when we good really like yeah good, yeah <laughs> no one's like good love good, 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 good. Love did you have to restart okay i love the oh, game we go. i know where wrong. i'm gonna go i know where i'm going yeah. here we go up this and, little hill todd's like can't get this oh, wrong oh, oh, oh. hold my beer yeah, they go to the oh, left here. Oh. Oh. Um, Todd, Jeremy is echoing now for some reason, so uh, I think he's coming oh, in okay. through twice. So whenever you finish a section, you can feel yeah, yeah. to um, adjust that. Well, what? Yeah, because my I, I, the game sounds trash to me in my ears now. I don't know why. So maybe – how do I how do I stop what the echo happened? for Jeremy? Have, have we lost the drama? Is it going yeah, there's there's no urgency in this chase anymore. No, they've just stopped on the side of the road to have a cigarette. Nope. <laughs> I'm the one driving. What are we doing? He's killing me. Oh, and since we're show and tell now. Uh... Hey, oh, show and tell. Okay. Start again. Oh, are you're we... joking. I do have a time limit. Okay. I don't... How do I fix his echo, Pagan? Right. Want to go to the road? With driving. Um, two ways go. you just need to see where it, it whenever jeremy speaks there should be a yeah. bounce and if it's bouncing test, two test, audio test. levels on stream labs you need to mute one can you can you talk again jeremy yeah test can you you get an echo go again sorry without anyone else hello test 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 yep okay how's that hello? good okay we're good all now. right should be sweet so this this is us uh building the jeep uh, for the motion that capture building the Jeep? Yeah. That's Have you Jeep. seen any of this, Nolan? Well, yeah, yeah. But, but <laughs> have you seen any of the so, footage of the behind the scenes? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and and it really depends on on what we're interacting with. So if if we're doing a scene where we have have the two characters talking in the front seat and they just need the steering wheel, all we need is two chairs and steering wheel. Um, but when we have the you know this E three sequence where we have all these different ways of like jumping in the jeep, we have characters that are hanging on the sides of it. With that, that means we need touch points kind of to all over the place. Yeah. So they, they have designed this whole uh, Jeep out of our, our little block Lego system. <laughs> so much more glamorous than the stuff I work with. Look at you and Scully getting hit. Back to Maine. Yeah, this this is kind of uh, you know what the Jeep looks like. So we this did, is like uh, Bad Boys. Yeah, all the touch Bad Boys points. too. Oh wow! Yeah, I love that. that. That's not just. Like, don't worry, I got this. Walk off any of I the don't got this. <laughs> Shit. That's a, that's a wall. Don't do that. <laughs> I want you. To, I, I would have loved to have had some like alternate dialogue of you constantly getting in the wrong direction as, as Dre. <laughs> Oh, I'm yeah. sure it was left here. Oh, man, that's... Wait, hang on. We did a lot of dialogue. We, 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 we cover all kinds of stuff. My favorite thing was what we called Chasing the Picture, where they would, you know, the designer, one of the designers would run through this whole level, yeah. and Richard and I would sit there and go, look out, and we, we would be reacting to what you're doing right yes. now. 
Take a left. I'm going that left. Well, he said, well, the other left. We would make them yeah. up and it would end up in the game. <laughs> hey, look at that That's up in the so sky. Good. Not the time. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Uh, what I'm what I'm showing here, this is uh, the work that um, Paul Mock, he's one of our uh, amazing animators. He's a lead animator now, but he's one of our technical animators. And he uh, worked with Yaros, our, our physics programmer, to add physics to the characters in the Jeeps. You can see here, this is no physics. This is just kind of straight animation. Yeah. The character is pretty stiff, right? And we, there's no way we'd be able to, to animate this. For every on our own, it's, it's impossible. Oh my god, amazing! So with oh. PS4 <laughs> physics, uh, you'll see, see you'll see that here. Right that's What's the grappling the, button. Oh wow! You can see the difference, like the, the way that Drake is moving. Uh, you can play all the animations, oh, but he'll he'll react to. The G. So how do you? Is that just a? It's a physics system that you have to paste yes. onto the sort of to the skeleton, essentially. Is that? Uh, so they, they make a, a physics profile for the skeleton. They, they basically, like, for the joint, they say, like, okay, I want this to move about that much. Then they have to pin, you know, when the hand is on, on the, the seat, yeah. they have to pin the hand so the hand doesn't move. Oh. The, the hand's on the, the yeah. steering wheel. How do I pull up on it? So there's a lot of, like, that kind of <laughs> oh, stuff. No. Look at that grappling hook. Grappling hook. Oh, he's got, a, he's got to climb, climb, climb oh, it up on. Climb, bro. Oh, oh, Climb it, you gotta climb it up. Climb it, climb, up. climb the rope, yeah, climb the rope. Yes. So amazing. I heard in an interview climb that they're hoping to do have this sequence they do another one. Oh. Oh. That would be cool. Oh my god. Yeah, I would oh love god. to see the, the, oh, yeah. the live version of this. Yeah, this the thing. I finally watched the movie oh. and you're sort of seeing like the different <laughs> elements that I'm like, oh they grabbed that from there and they grabbed that from there. That was cool. Yeah, yeah, the, the movie is almost like a best of. Yeah, kind What of have I gotta shoot off his tires? Not enough Nolan though, in my opinion. Yeah, you gotta get up there. Get up in it. Don't shoot it. Just get up in that no, thing. Just get up on it. How do I swing? Yeah, bitch. You like these apples? <laughs> Let's go. What's reload? So a couple of little tidbits that, that you it go really quickly, uh, but when yeah. you are hanging on the rope in the mud, that's a whole animation system, a whole move set uh, of Drake with physics on top. And Just for that. you only see it for like right. a brief moment, but when he's skiing behind it, when he gets onto his feet, like that's a whole nother animation move set with physics and everything, uh, and being able to shoot on top of that. So there's so much work that goes into all this. Is there, oh God, is is there a ton of other stuff that you're like, yeah, it'd be cool if he could do this, and eventually, like, you know, three week, three months out from launch, you're like, yeah, it would be cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, there's a lot of things that, that we do, and, and we end up cutting uh, the, the yeah. climbing system we'll, we'll talk about in a little bit. Yeah, sure. Uh, there, was, there was a lot of work that we put into that that okay. um, didn't fit kind of like the final vision of the game. Right. Uh, but yeah, you know, they, they, they were kind of cool ideas on their own, but then you, you need to figure out what, what you want to pare down. And then, uh, you can't and shouldn't put everything into the game. You want to figure right. out like, what, what fits the vision. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is boss. This sequence. <laughs> it's definitely one of the most favorite, like favorite. This is so dope. Yeah, it's the tightest. Oh, I'm just crushing. <laughs> yeah, just so taking hard. names over here, cashing checks. <laughs> yeah, I was watching a thing about you know, the making of Lightyear. Um, oh yeah. And to entertain my son. And, um, and yeah, just fascinating this at the end there, where they go through the amount of sequences and concepts and designs and stuff that just, just <laughs> yeah. don't have a start. Todd, you yeah, have to move up. animating whole sections and being like, yeah, I don't know. Move up. Mm -hmm. You can climb well, up forward. You want to get to the next truck. There you go. Oh, I see. Yeah. You have played this, Dolan. In there, all kinds of fun stuff. Oh, shit. <laughs> nice party. I mean, the, the, the challenging thing with uh, with gameplay animation is it's, it, it's not just trying to make it look good visually, you know, from, from an animator's perspective. You need to work with a programmer, you need AI, you need like so many different aspects that, that kind of like all come together to, to create Can this. I get Nate in there? Oh, damn. Yeah, kind of Nate in there. See, this trying is the thing I can probably speak to. This is kind of one of the things I, I find, <laughs> find exciting about video gaming. 
even more than an actual film and TV is there's even more elements of collaboration that are required. Like it's yeah. I love the collaborative element of film and television, but with gaming, there's there's even more because you, it's not just filming it; you have to build it. Like you know, right, right, right. We right. have to get well, in the truck. Especially when you know we're working with mm -hmm. with two new characters. Like every yeah. little thing, every little nuance, yeah, just doesn't feel How? right. You oh, know, you especially with, with AI, okay. with the decisions yeah. that they make, if they're just kind of like blindly walking into a wall, like you completely lose. Uh, oh, you know, it's just like, oh yeah, this is yeah, this is this is a robot. This isn't this isn't yeah, a, totally. Like, a human character. Um, it's so hard so, to sell that. You know, we were talking a little bit about you know working with concept artists. Um, one of the that. things that we do for into this? animation oh, into the car. and the programming design is we act things out. So we'll we'll, oh, we'll go uh, and. Um, I can show you uh, a little clip here. Uh, this is uh, when oh, I get to play. Yeah. Uh, so this is this is oh, us yeah, there we go. the mocap stage, and we just like Jeremy's oh, doing yes. animators here. I want to be watching and... this. No, That's too bad. Okay, I'm so, pausing. So this is, this this is, is amazing. Uh, all of us uh, as animators just kind of playing out a scene of like what AI role. can work. I mean, that's you a know. sweet role. Look at that. Jeremy, Jeremy could do this, man. He was awesome with the stuff. Did you see? Yeah, his role is incredible. He got trained for like months on Spartacus trying to get that kind of stuff down. He's just dropping them out like he's he's a professional stuntman. It's crazy. <laughs> but these are a lot of fun to make. Do you and, get you know, to be and, like in just like in a few hours, we can do something that would take us like two years to, to get work yeah. in game. Uh, but this is, you know, we, we kind of like study all this. We look at all the little nuances that happen, the way that, that people kind of react and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that, that helps give us a blueprint for what good gameplay animation could look like. It's so great to see everybody react as soon as you, t you pick up, um, the RPG. Right. And all of the, it's like, right. <laughs> and they run away. So, again, new <laughs> question again, I'll fire these out, Jeremy. When you're, as far as this being captured on camera, are you mm -hmm. just using this as a physical reference or are you able to Yeah, then... this is just, this is just okay. reference. Got you. Uh, up. They don't have to get the good sweet lacquer out, right? Yeah, well, yeah, actually, yeah. That, so that's kind of watching. what I'm doing now. So, so now we're kind of like in this pandemic world, uh, most of us are working from home. I've been working from, from home for a while. And uh, just doing dive rolls at home. So when it's I want to, when I want to preview something, like I literally go in the backyard and I put on my little like accents leotard and I'm like swinging weapons around. For and real? Hoping my neighbors don't look out the window. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah, I just had to sign up for a boxing a boxing trainer for something I'm about to do and and trying to like go out here and be like and be that and that so I can come complete so that some animator can be like yeah cool Liam I don't need any yeah. of that cheers yeah thanks anyway that's amazing. <laughs> I could just watch this over and over. This is incredible. All right, All right should I go back to the game? Back to, back to being yeah, a crisis mode yeah. driving Jeep, buddy. Minimize the, the yeah. screening. Yeah, I'm going to hide you. this. Nolan, oh, yeah. did you do any of these kind of stunts as well on set, like through mocap, or would that all be someone separate? Uh, I did some of them. Like with Jeremy, we would do a bunch of like, I did the rolls. We did like, running, like they're walking, and I'm running, and I'm shooting, and I'm shooting, and I'm around me. Um, I think, and, and I've told people, like, you know, we had great stuntmen who did a lot of the other stuff. But, like, I would get, like, like sometimes, oh, um, you know, I would be fighting with a stuntman who would help coordinate the whole scene, especially in the in the early games. Uh, yeah. Probably when I got older, they were like, this is going to look cooler if someone else does it. <laughs> but, but in the, uh, but it was really, it was so much fun, you know, just like the, the duck and the, like, the whole sequence that we did with the, uh, the Uncharted uh, three. The three, yeah. The, the, uh, the, the pub fight. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Right. So we did, we did, you know, I had that, like, Richard McGonagall almost crushed, killed someone with a, with a pool cue. Because <laughs> almost in the boxing time. Did they learn um, nothing from the cigar? Yeah, so, you know, but what, what would happen then, then in the in the big scene, in the, the, the fight scene in the, uh, the bathroom, they, they did it once where they grabbed me and he threw me up against the wall. And then... I stepped out and it was uh it was like Chris, Chris, oh, wow. Chris Robbins, Robbins and, 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 yeah. and wow. it was it's so cool to watch. I mean oh, yeah. this this stuntmen are really, really cool. I remember I remember like, oh. you know, you know, we were kind of talking through the scene and, and we're like, Oh yeah, we, we you know, Chris, we need to like 
like grab Drake and like move him. And he's like, oh yeah, just pick him up like this and just, you know, walk another grown man over like behind his collar. <laughs> 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 <You're> like, <laughs> you like look like you're in a baby Bjorn. You're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Help. Uh, yeah, Chris, Chris is another one of those like incredibly Why nice swap cars, Pagan? goals that could like mm -hmm. smash your head in like the like the mountain. Your goal is to get on the motorcycle. I do apologize. I do apologize. Sorry, uh, this is awesome. Liam, I'm sorry. Oh, please, don't worry about it. I was just saying in full in order, I was I got all cocky because I'd done a lot of work and sword work in Spartacus, so yeah. I was like, oh yeah, like lightsabers, I got this. So I was like trying to do all that and be cool and be the coolest guy in the world. And they, they had this guy oh. who was from China, who was this guy Shane, who was the best swords person I've ever seen. And he's like, well, he might have a go at it if you don't mind. I'm like, well, I mean, it's not bad, but I'm okay. And then he was, I was like, all right, here's everything I've ever owned that's involving any kind of action, and you can do all the things in the future. That's your get greatest me, physical bitch. athlete I've ever seen. How do I get on a motorbike? Do I just press jump when I'm next to someone? Uh, yeah, just keep going. It'll probably if be for a while. you wish really, really hard, there's a whole wish mechanic. <laughs> um, <laughs> start singing. Get it! No, you've muted yourself. Oh. I think you're pretty, pretty um, yeah. vulnerable on the motorcycle. Please run those, those... No, I don't think oh, you yes, can jump to the motorcycle. You just have to crash into them. Oh, yeah, oh, no. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. It's only a dirty and... on a motorcycle. So it's dirty and filthy. It's Is there a shower scene to wash all that dirt off? Oh, please tell me that's there animated somewhere. There should be a shower scene. Be like... Oh. <laughs> they, got, they got Nolan to strip down and everything in one of them. They just, then weirdly enough, they didn't yeah. use it straight. Oh, they sent it to this, me. This sequence. They didn't use My wife I was and I say, used this it. This sequence is one of the most... You gotta wiggle out of there. You gotta wiggle out of there. Oh, really? oh, yeah. I yeah. was yeah. animating <laughs> this sequence, uh, Jeremy, because obviously this is part. Of it, so I feel like this. Wiggle out. Like wiggle out. Oh, yeah, God. So I've got a wiggle, wiggle too. You got a wiggle, buddy. Oh, wiggle. wiggle. Oh, wiggle. wiggle. Oh, wiggle. wiggle. Oh, wiggle. Oh, wiggle. Oh, You're on fire. You're on fire. Get out of there. Be less. Which way do I wiggle? Yeah, sorry, Jeremy. It seems to be. Yeah, no, no. Sorry, Jeremy. I'm just trying to wiggle up here. Keep going. Get out of there. Yeah, you gotta reach. I'm pressing every single button. Reach left. Reach left. Reach left. Reach left. Okay. There we go. Pull yourself up. Reach right. Reach right. Grab reach around. Reach around. Reach around. Yes. There we go. Reach for the door. So this the next door. animation, actually, from here, I, I animated all this. This is one of the things that I got oh, to shit, so oh. like, wow. take from Because oh, you know, normally I'm, I'm uh, you know, working with the animation team or kind of directing them, but sometimes I'll take a few morsels. So who chooses that shot, Jeremy? Like over that, over the stomach, like, oh, up, 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 like shooting over the top of his back? Um, so a lot of that is, is you know, we, we free this things out, we kind of have a good plan, and then yeah. there's a lot that also we, we kind of collaborate on on the stage. I mean, you know, once you're physically doing it, uh, things make more sense, or, or, or yeah. now we do a lot of uh, decam. So we'll oh, kind yeah. of get in there with a decam and kind of like stage everything out, and you know, you know what, this would be better if you were on your side. So this yeah, is, this that, I really love that. Back. There's a lot of those little nuances that we have to figure out, you know, once we're physically, you know, in that set and, and kind of like figuring out what we're, we're dealing with. Yeah, see, even stuff like that, it's just, it's just so... I don't know, immersive, having him like roll out, shoot over the back of his shoulder. That's dope. Yeah. Just little touches like that you just don't see in other games. You what, Liam? No, I didn't. Oh, great. Excellent. Uh, Bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> You'll just build him back in when he comes back in. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> the little yeah. giggles. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Well, listen. Um, I, I I apologize, but the family uh, beckons, and I have to get back. I just wanted to just pop in. You oh, seem you're like you're legend. doing fine. Um, crushing it. I'm a little upset that I've seen a few deaths. So I need to go process that. Tonight. Hey, you should see Liam's death count. It's embarrassing. Well, Nolan, it was uh, it was great to uh, to hang out with you again. It's been too long. What? It's been way too long. I, I it just I, I you're under, he's under there. all kinds of NDAs, yeah. but I mean just all like. Right. I'm available. I, I happen to be in Georgia now, but I have a place in LA. 
So I'm available. All right. Let's go. Go do some I'll mocap do together. That'd be lovely. I'm staying in shape. This looks like a simple site. <laughs> All right. Liberty. Oh, shit. Yeah. References. You got a license for that or you don't you, you don't have to enjoy okay. it? I don't know. No, there's wow. no licenses in this country no for license. anything anymore. That's true. Yeah, you're Italian. right. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Well, mate, thanks Thank so, so much, much for joining, joining us, guys. Colin, you're a legend. Every so good to see you. Say hi to the dogs for me. I will. Hi, guys. Okay. Okay, well, what about oh, the treasure? Oh, thanks Legend. so much, Nolan, That's for joining. Where he goes. So good. Safe when was the last time you saw Nolan, Jeremy? Of pirates, and they, oh, wow. They it's, been, it's been a while. Property, um, resources. Money? It was one of the shows, you know, one, you know, E3 or, or one of those. And oh, sadly, yeah. we don't do those anymore. You so, know? I mean, this is kind of even pre-pandemic. Those were starting to, to right you know, fizzle out a little bit. But, yeah, but E3, now, E3 must still be going, yeah? That island. Just northeast of King's Bay. E3 was canceled this year, I believe. Rafe has yeah. canceled. We don't know as well. By the time Rafe figures it out, I don't know what the future of E3 is. Hmm. Oh, they can't let E3 go. It's as good as that was a lot of fun. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's kind of opening up to the public, which is great for the public, but that means there's a How's long the queue for, for to see moment. anything. Uh, yeah. Seems oh yeah, like this this scene, course. like her face. Uh, we had an animator that spent weeks. Oh, on just it's not what it looks just like. sculpting that out because really? that was such a pivotal you know because what it looks like that we really wanted to is get that right you're searching for henry avery's buried treasure yeah and we'll definitely miss e3 if it doesn't come back all over I, was, I think for me it was, it was the only really fun to it. not only like see a lot of your you know past right. co-workers or people from the industry yes, that we all kind of come together like. and yeah drink but, beer while we play games uh uh, but just to kind of see it's gonna sound crazy. what all the, you know, E3 is where like games aren't done yet. And so For everyone's starters. kind of showing yeah. off, you know, what, what they're currently doing. And it was, yeah. it this was is so insane. inspirational because you're currently working on a game and you'll see something like, Sam Drake. It's like, oh my gosh, did you see that game? Did you see this thing? Like, we need to figure out how to add that into our game. Uh, and so... You know, yeah it's always inspirational to kind of go and also shows. the community element too i mean that's the whole yeah that's the whole joy of gaming because of the community died. involved yeah, i mean we've, we've seen it firsthand when we're streaming and things long. like that and also the get good community and and it's our couch soup community years. like they're, they're the times when you do actually get to see each other in person as well and meet the these people that you you know just been seeing on a screen for years as well it's That's it's it's amazing we, we it's, liam and i went to a couple as well and demoed a few of the games and get a feel of what's coming out and it's it's awesome part of it is that community weekend ever? you know where it's just like two yeah. days of a malaysia gaming time? mayhem yeah 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 i i i've always really <sighs> loved uh going to those i think i so I probably have been to about 15 at least in a Elena, row. wait. I don't oh, get really? you. Yeah, I so, so that was the big thing. I wanted you know, to. That's the wonderful thing about I don't know, just uh, say it. them being in Los Angeles and our studios oh, in LA. So it's literally a, face a train me. ride away. I knew you would yeah. react like to, this. To, to hop on and go to E3. So oh, it was geez. always, you know, the, the studio would give everybody the day you off. And we would just go hang out with everyone at E3. Yeah, that's so good. If you were killed, I oh, hang on, we've got a scene to I watch. Have even known about it. And now you have yeah, a she's brother. really mad. It's heartbreaking to watch you? this scene. Come on, uh, I'm me. Come on, it's me. It's different this time. I have to save him. I don't even care about the treasure. The look on your face when you walked into this room. If you're done lying to me, then you should stop lying to yourself. Oof. I know. I got a flame mm -hmm. You do what you have to do. And this aftermath hey. is just hey, what are you doing? palpable. Go after her. We're not done here. Well, maybe we should be. What are you saying? I'm saying maybe there's a smarter way to save Sam. Such as? Such as we give him a new identity. We we put him in hiding somewhere. He's I got been contact. in prison for 15 years. He's not going into hiding. Okay, fine. You go after your wife. Sam and I will head off for Libertalia. Without me? 
Come on, you'll get both of you killed. Really? <laughs> Kid, I've been doing this for a hell of a long time. I think I might be able to handle... Hey, you want to be helpful, Sullivan? Go keep an eye on her. Whatever you say. Need a hand? Then you got it. Mm, let's go pack your bags. Oh, breaks your heart. I love that shot too. I mean, just, oh, you can't yeah. believe that's a video game that's real time. Mm. It looks yeah, like a painting. The lighting in that's fantastic. Lighting is gorgeous. Um, so to do those those little transitions like that, uh, there's like sections of the game that are pre-rendered that they they do like a video yeah. transition. So what you saw is like yeah. real time to go. seamless video back to real time, and you, you don't even know. Yeah, yeah it's, right. It's crazy to be able to do that with the fidelity, you know, because like, I guess even not even that long ago, it's it's the cool. difference between in-game and cinematics, cinematics was crazy. crazy. Yeah, like you like, had to yeah there would always be like this black frame, you know. The, yeah. The, All this yeah. Is, is really hard. Running to around, around, surviving by the skin of our teeth. But even just like you know that you can create a sort of. Well, well done, Todd. Great. Step back and appreciate. <laughs> well done, um, where you can so create graphics that us are. are not quite, but close to indistinguishable so from the rent, like the what was being pre-rendered, I guess, back in the day. Right. It's just incredible. This is a completely off the subject this question, but still, like, oh, hang on, I will watch this scene a little bit. You want to watch a little bit more of this because I know people like to see the scenes when they're playing. Bring back a treasure like. Did that. I upset anyway. Nolan? What happened? Oh, Nolan yeah, had to go. Oh, no, he had to go. He was just dropping. He had to have family. Oh, had to have he, family. He saw how many deaths times. he had on screen and couldn't take it. Yeah, so. it was like, Todd's yeah, terrible at this. Mm. You feel that? <laughs> Another little transition. There you go. There. You can feel free to ask your question, Todd. There's not much here now. Uh -huh. Oh, wait, the name Naughty Dog. Where and how and uh, where, where did uh, it come from? What was no, the spawn? Yeah, so, so the two founders of Naughty Dog, right they... Place. Find I think they met in like sure. synagogue or something like, you know, back when they were in high school and wow. were making games together and <laughs> wow. uh, went off to college and then came back and were, were basically like, you know, oh, they, they started mean, Naughty Dog and they, at least there's an island, uh, right? I believe Naughty Dog was yeah, named after an Morgan, who Just was keep an eye out Jason man -made. dog. Ah, you mean, uh, huh. and I then, mean. um, <laughs> sure. Uh, Morgan had passed away before I had started, but when I I started in, in 2002, and Osiris so, was the other the Naughty Dog that was Andy's dog, and he would he basically shack. just wander around the office. It was this, I forget what kind of, <laughs> yeah, maybe kind of dog he was. Tree it was huge. Um, right. Just Everybody's kind of wander around the office and, setting up this and lay under your desk. And ran out of but everyone, you know, when we first started, everyone yeah. uh, thought it was like a porn studio or something. You know, it was just like a <laughs> 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 Um, are any of those dogs in any of the games? Uh, so, you yeah, know, crazy so, worldwide so treasure game, on his side. Uh, they are. Avery had the right idea. That's What's Cassie. that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Live by his own no, rules. No, I don't, I don't think Travel so. the world. Right. Maybe his fortune. His way. Uh, sure. Now you're rendering, now you got whole mechanics for ships and stuff. Look at that. Right. This, this whole is, level right? makes me happy. It's no, just like it's this so is confounding. amazing. I just, it I is. just want to yeah. like jump in that water. I love Even the just the color. turning, the physics on the turning is exactly how the boat kind of transitions once yeah. the rudder kind of shifts around. It's so good. Some of this, like these are things in games where I'm like, don't smash the boat up. Um, <laughs> where you like, <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> like I remember playing Black Flag and being like, wait, hang on, did you build a whole like ship mechanic for this um, uh, Assassin's yeah. Creed game just just yeah. cause? <laughs> you like, and so yeah, same with you guys. You like you're building all these like. Pirate. You're like, let's put cars and ships and trains and motor me like like all these, yeah. all these different things and let's build whole mechanics just for these. Well, you know, really even you elements. see, you, you know, when you when you uh, you, you crashed into the shore, uh, uh, Sam reacted to it. 
yeah, and yeah. It yeah. could be in any of a number of different <laughs> places. So this was, um, Mikal was, was kind of the one uh, working on this system. And he, you know, they built out a little kind of back of a boat and he would capture an actor uh, doing an idol kind of, you know, in an area. And then it's like, okay, now bump to the left, bump yeah. forward, bump back. Oh, yeah, all yeah. These variations there. And then like, okay, yeah. now, now go walk to another section and then they would like sit there and they would, you know, yeah, get bumped idle, while you're walking there out, and stuff like that. Yeah, and, yeah. Then, and then kind of well, see if we can spot something from up Some of this was physics on top, but yeah. physics is only going to give you this okay, kind of up we you know, go. Yeah, rubbery, so you know, feel. Yeah. But like if you actually want them to like stagger with their feet or, you know, put their hands on the thing, like that needs to be a performance. Yeah, sure, sure. Physics. So all of that still needs to be accounted for. Uh, you know, and, and all this. So yeah. It's... Could you use the um, the <laughs> physics from the car for something like the boat as well? Yeah. That's oh yeah, yeah. Similar? Yeah. It's all yeah. it's all kind of similar systems. Yeah. Uh, everything needs to be tuned. Seth, this way. Uh, we call them physics profiles, but for each, you know, like I said, Ooh, like when you when you have when when Sam's got his like left hand touching something that you want yeah. to lock that down, but his right hand is free, <laughs> then they'll create a physics profile that yeah. that kind of accounts <laughs> for that. You problem. know. So and saying, then they have to script yeah. each one of those things. So, okay, yeah. now we now we go over here. Now use this physics profile. Now now he put his hand off. So now promising. use this physics that's profile. That's insane. So, yeah. Well, that's Hence the, the thing, time it takes. Oh yeah, Hence games the time take a while. <laughs> yeah. I was, yeah, I was saying to Josh that my claim to fame as a game symbol. designer, quote unquote, was to use construct two to make a make a grappling hook system for like a oh, platform yeah. that was terrible. But it was like the amount of work to just get something to stick to a so if I aim that way and it stuck to it, and then allow it to stick it. I was like, I like a month from there. How like, did you know to do that? Like, oh, there's one thing. Yeah, but like, but like, but you solved that problem, right? Like, you figured out how to do that. Yes, that's what it is. Joy comes yeah, like the satisfaction, like, oh my gosh, like, I solved that. I figured yeah, that out. Let's go that's why we do this, right? Like, it's those little yeah, wins that you have. Um, you know, it's. That make it all worth it. Come on. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Oh, it's right below us. Unlike yep. a lot of things, you, you, I mean, we're still in a. I, I feel like we're still in a point in the. Why don't you use the rope and repel it? Each AAA title can create something special. Like, it's not like you're like, oh, yeah, it's the same as that, but different. It's, there's like, you know, there's things in this game where you're like, I've never seen that before. Someone, someone solved that for the first time right. ever in this right. game. Like right. falling right. to death like that right. in the animations. There we go. Quiet. So the animation of falling. I just wanted to check and make sure it was not yeah. glitching no, it was out. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All good? Well, we had, yeah, we had to solve that too. Yeah. yeah. So how do I lower yeah. myself so down? Do I lower myself down or I just yeah, go back yeah, into well, the... Yeah, swing. Or you, can, you can always... There's a button. There's a command for that. You got it. Uh, is it... Go. See ya. Another check, check that animation. Yep, so you can shoot while you're falling to another animation. It's like... I thought it was just that you were up, up down on the left or the right stick, right? Yeah. Todd, you can take down the game volume again just to smidge here the in the video engine, down? in the main master volume so that it, it lowers on stream. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to take a quick restroom break and I'll do it. That's right. Oh, absolutely. Go, go ahead, Jeremy. Mm -hmm. okay. Should we like, see what questions are going on? What's happening yeah, in chat? Fine. Sorry, we've been a bit. Oh, you count the d 10 deaths. 10. It's not, it's not nothing. 10. Doubt it. Got that wrong. <laughs> hold L1. Yeah, I was doing that. Thank you, Jake Brown. I'm holding it. Hold. Yeah. And then press down. Shuffle up and down. And then press down. Black flag. Uh, Black flag. Uh, unlimited rope, baby. Yeah. Let's jump. Throw the rope. Yeah. What do I do with him? Do I just say, I oh, stay up there, bro? Oh, no, you got your grapple. Cool. That's Very nice. Good. <laughs> there, Is there bro. a quick way down? <laughs> and that's the end of Sam in the game. All right. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> Thank you, Jake. You guys are doing great. I.e. me. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate that. Like that. I think, uh, I think as soon as you left screen, he thought there's nothing else for me to be here for. So. Oh, hello. Good morning. Whoa. Oh, what's that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's. Oh probably. no, we're doing turbulent. We're doing is this turbulent juice. Oh, Rick not a good way to go. <laughs> nah, he's not, not a here. good way to go. Uh, where's, uh, where's my boat? 
Wait, is this the site? I thought the boat was over here. Don't do, it. Don't do your best material now while no one from Naughty Dog's watching. You're gonna, if you yeah, that's audition, true. Save your good that's stuff. A good way to go, Jeremy. It's good, actually. It's pretty good. <laughs> Thanks, Liam. Can you get me a freaking job, mate? Jeez. Yeah, I will, okay, mate. I will. I will. Get you, get you on or something. Other side, Todd. Okay, heading there now, Angertron. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> if Nolan could actually run faster, we might get this job done. <laughs> Selective. I like, you know, I feel like, mm -hmm. again, we can talk about animation, <sighs> about run speeds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the run button in this one. A different take on it. Here's your yeah, no, no speed run button in here, Jeremy. Follow these arrows. See where they go. Just super fast no, run. No, no, no. Didn't have, we had, didn't have we a had, we had a sprint early on in development for Uncharted. Really? Oh really? Come on, shipping out. Yeah, it was uh oh, tell me. Kind of what The Last of Us 2 ended up being. It it felt yeah. a lot like that. So like being right. able to sprint, sprint to crouch, crouch to sprint, like a lot of those types of transitions. Where do I go? Um, Sorry. we had working. You have to follow I'm sure the that open enough where you sort of do something in one game, go, ah, oh, we either don't have time or can't quite get it to a place where it's satisfying and then the next game you're like you know what we can probably we can probably try that again i guess that yeah, yeah i mean that you know it, it's you need to figure out what works for that particular title you know sometimes uh, it's it's time-based uh but sometimes it's look at that you know, figuring wreck. out what's what's the you right for, there, for the shit. direction of, of, of the project oh, cool. Oh, I love this yeah. little so, shipwreck. Jeremy, the, what was the reason the sprint was kind of ultimately abandoned? Could you not work it for how it felt in the story? Did it not feel natural enough for um, Nathan Drake? I don't remember exactly what it was. It it felt pretty good, but I I, I ultimately I don't wasn't. I, I wasn't in the room when when it when it got cut. Um, but ultimately, it was something that the you know up to the game director. That's fair. Yeah. And I think honestly, like you don't really need it in the game unless you're in at sea or mm -hmm. like through the 12 towers or hidden in plain sight, like in right. the, the larger areas. Other than that, like the majority Ooh. of the time you don't really need sprint. Right. Well, you know, the other thing with sprints is once you give a player the sprint mechanic, they're going to play the entire game that way. Yeah. Through every little thing. And, you know, it, it's interesting that, that, you know, Gamers, we tend to be pretty impatient. You know, yeah, true. Yeah. You know, we want to get through things as quickly as possible. Uh, Which is ironic, hey? That I always find that that difficult because you're like, I want to get through this, but you're so immersed in the game, you never want it to end. It's like a right, right. Well, you just want to. Yeah, I think you get a bit of a, a, bit, a bit greedy for content. Like I feel like because games are so much longer than movies, you just feel like there's always going to be more to eat to just sort of devour. Like you know, I played was right. playing Elden Ring with my buddy. Yeah. And Elden Ring is insanely big, so you just kind of like sprint through all of it because you're worried you won't get to the end of it. And then if you get to the end of it, you want to you regret. Like you know, if you play something on easy. Yeah. Like this, for example, Todd. Mm -hmm. um, then you sort of like you finish it, and then you feel like you've cheated yourself because you're like, "Well, did you buy anything? I wanted to get yeah. through, oh, but now I, now I think that's why I've never, treasure. I've never <laughs> played a game on easy for that reason because I always yeah, think totally. if I get to the end, I'll be like, "Ah, oh, okay." Yeah, I well, know. I sort of. I, I was playing the latest Doom, like the expansion to like the, the newest expansion for Doom, and I was like, "No, nah, I'm gonna play it on hard." <laughs> It's just a bad idea. <laughs> it's like, yeah, then yeah. I'm in it. I'm like, I can't. I don't have too much like pride to like go and drop the difficulty level. So I'm just like throwing myself against a, a meat grinder for like 14 days trying to finish one <laughs> boss boss level. And I'm like, well, this is this is a terrible experience. Objectively, <laughs> I'm just not good enough for this. It's, so am I following these like, arrows? Okay, yeah, there should be arrows, arrows in the water. Yeah, oh, here you go. Them. Oh, I didn't see it. Just got to what? slow right down, mate. Just chill. Stop sprinting. Start enjoying your game. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I see where that's going. Okay, okay, you can see you that go. easily. Look at that. Boom. This nice. way. Am I going? <laughs> staying on the water? Or am I? Or am I hopping it's ashore to, here? It's going to leave you. Oh, look! It tells you. It says go this way, idiot. There you go. Sorry about I thought that. of everything. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Well, that'd be a game pass, I'm sure. That'd be <laughs> Hop out here, mate. That was one of the things that I appreciated about the movie is how faithful they were. I mean, like there's sections like this if you turn around that mm -hmm. that absolutely feels, yeah, you know, like the movie built this set. 
whole thing yeah. would be a yeah, yeah. yeah. Be bananas. They, they, they the obviously... lighting, the look, the vibe. Yeah, like, you yeah. Know, yeah you're so right. Different. When they were when they're finding the, the when they're finding <laughs> the ships. The, yeah, yeah, you're right. Not gonna make that jump. Oh, um, <laughs> that? that no. Nope. Like gonna make that jump into the water. It was a yeah. different jump. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Here, I noticed that. Jump from a low, at, like from a low point. Oh. He'll, he'll do like a dive. Yeah, right? he does a dive. Yeah. Cycle. If you Again. jump from really high up, I think when you come back in this section, you're gonna go back to the boat and you'll be like up top. Um, okay. I believe we do kind of a Navy Seal dive where it's like. Oh wow! You know, oh, a pin drop. Like a halo. Like a halo yeah, yeah. Oh, that's dope. Do I actually have to go? Where am I going for this? Sorry, just Jeez. to say. I'm sure you, you have don't to have climb time, the but... middle the middle spire. So t turn around where your boat is. What about this big oh, down there. The the mm -hmm. yeah, you oh, oh, yeah. After you've spent yeah, enough time not finding yeah. it, then they, they throw <laughs> so, the yeah, eggs yeah. into like, the What about the big mm -hmm. thing with obviously looks hey. like you should climb it? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So you actually have to like the boat, move the boat over. Oh, I see. You played this before, Jeremy. Nice. Wow, but yes, comes back to you. You Every ever, like, scene. Little cheeky... oh, go on, Todd. You go. I'll, I'll no, no, no. Up. You go. You go. You go. I was just like, funny. like throwing in some cheeky animations that, like, like you know, every fiftieth time you jump off a high height, he just eats it and totally belly flops or anything like that. <laughs> Do you ever like throw any fun ones in? Uh, I mean, there's so many little details. Uh, of course. I don't know that we've done for novelty as ones. far as animations. I don't know that we've done any like you gotta admit. kind of goofy pretty blooper cool. ones, but uh, what? Uh, Climbing this yeah, cliff. It, we, yes. we try to find it, context is everything so we really try to find you know ways to make things more integrated contextually okay so here okay like sam climbing that was a whole other system so so i spent a year and a half working on the player's climbing system oh my jesus God. then we had to make it work for like oh yeah by the way we have we're going to be following oh, you around with like sam's uh... got to follow you how are we going to do that so that was a combination of uh, just obviously very smart people uh, working on this, um, but they were able to take uh, Drake's animations and retarget right. them on Sam and come up with a system where they could like script together, uh, you know, all these different animations. Uh, but then there's another system that we do uh, that's not as much for the climbing, but we use it for like really complex traversal for for the npcs is right we literally uh capture the player as motion capture so so ah. I'll, I'll i'll play as wow. great play much the much game subtlety capture it and then it, it yeah, records the all the joint data it, and then we can play oh. that back as as like a background uh cinematic on a character <laughs> Jeez, so it's wild. So we came up with that system on Charted 2. So that that's um, when you were following Tencent through uh, through the cave system, through the ice cave system. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, all of those movements were all captured from from playing as Drake. So uh, the here I even have a video on this. So well, it's kind of so you're just playing back a bunch of kind of input data. Uh, right. so that, that where I just so came from? Oh almost like in what's it like mirror not mirror mode like yeah. ghost mode in mario kart where it sort of saves the way that you go through the level and then you still yeah. beat your own time yeah yeah um so yeah so this is what so i'm i'm playing as drake here uh but yeah. we capture all this and then add this you know is is one long little cutscene onto oh, look. The main entrance is blocked Elena, the or Sam, yeah, or anything yeah. like that. So oh, instead of having to come builders, up with a whole complex hundreds of years of AI life. system to do this, yeah, since we put all the work into the around. player, uh, let's just use that as, as motion you capture data. Have to have contingencies, like if say if like can the can he fall off? If if what if what if Drake's in the way? Blah blah blah. You know. Yeah, so that becomes a little tricky. Uh, there sometimes are. You know, we'll split this up like this one might get into where they'll they'll stand here and then they'll do an idle oh, animation idle uh, and then if, okay. and if, you know so if, if drake was kind of standing you know right here then then he could just kind of stop and play an idol yeah, uh, sure. otherwise he'll continue the next part um, but a lot of these things we try it, that's a lot of work to to kind of split that up and so It'll we'll yeah, um, yeah. try and script these to happen 
well out he'll, of he'll reach only of the do player, that. in a sense. Yeah, he'll only climb up after you've reached a point where he can't right. be... Yeah, sure. Wow. Yeah, so it's like this section here, you know, it's like, you know, this. there's no way that the player could, could get there in time, but they yeah. wait, they, like, make all these regions here where it's like, okay, if the player is somewhere in this region, then let Elena play this animation and she'll kind of yeah. up, you know, <laughs> Imagine that everything's like a big Excel worksheet in some way. Like if then, then yeah. you know, like if this then this, and that's a whole game. Yeah. Um, bananas. Where are you, Todd? What are you doing? You just taking a break? Taking five? Just chilling? I was just watching that. I wanted to focus on it. <laughs> I'm like watching it as a fan too. Just going, I want to see this shit. Yeah. It's all work for you, mate. Sorry. Mm, sorry. Back at it. Where back, am I going? Back at it, son. Mm -mm, mm -mm. This is beautiful. This, this. Oh man, I just did like my own little directorial shot where I was like, slow pan around, look, just like open up. <laughs> yeah. If you need any animators or cinematic directors, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's. Well, so, so this is this is the kind of thing that if you are on the stage playing the live demo, that's yeah. what you have to think about, right? Like, yeah, for sure. sure. Think about presenting this as if. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Right, like, you you, yeah. you block well, you block Sam, so he can't hello. go. So we had to come up with a way to do that. So, <laughs> shit. You, you broke it. No, you, you go, Sam. You go. You're good. You're good, Sam. He's like, I'm waiting for you, man. I'm waiting for you. No, no, no. It's fine. You go. I'd rather you go. It's all good. Thank you. Go. That's right, amazing. So, so all that, all that, like Sam had to get off, had to know what yeah. to do. It's, yeah. There's so many little contingencies that you don't think about, but those are bugs that happen that you're like, oh, shoot. Like, we never thought about that situation happening. Hey, Sam, come, come on, give me oh, a hand with this. Yeah. Sure. I have, I have this scene. Oh, really? Stop, stop here. Yeah. yeah this okay, okay. Uh, let me show you the IGC process. So I'm going to share my screen. So this Do is, uh, you know, what we call oh. interactive cinematics. And this is gonna, a, a whole gonna... demo of, of how this works. So essentially uh, on, on our mocap stage we have various uh you know monitors all around uh where we can uh, kind of look at different views of it and so the way that we would do this is we first previs uh most of these scenes and we'll we'll come up and they'll, they'll just be like really rudimentary animations but we kind of get the mechanics figured out and we'll get it kind of like actually working in game and so then um we have that, you know, we, we'll, we'll, we'll do that for the whole level. We'll kind of flush everything out. We work with the, with the game directors and kind of show them uh, what what we're doing and we get buy off on it. And then we go and, uh, and capture all these. And so uh, in order to get all the touch points, you can see we can build, you know, we, you saw the Jeep earlier. We can yeah. build uh, so many different uh, Things that like it can be as minimalistic as possible, you know. Ideally, we we don't have to build something as complex as this because uh, time is money on the mocap stage. You know, I yeah. I can't remember what it costs, but it's like it's a lot, like a thousand dollars a minute or something, right? To like to be on the stage with the actors, Whoa. You've got the whole crew, you've got like, everything going on. Wow, it's very expensive. It's probably not when you have Liam on the site, yeah. Minute, but it's expensive. I don't know. Right? I feel like I feel like it might be more than a thousand dollars. I mean, when you've it's, got, if you've got depending how big the day is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, a day all a day all. could be ten grand. You know. Yeah, easy. Easily. So, uh, and that's just capturing it. You know, then there's a lot of work afterwards uh, to kind of process the motion and, and you know animators working on it. So it's very important to be as efficient as possible, and especially you know twelve hundred scenes. We've got to be in and out very quickly, go through as many scenes as we can in a day. And so coming up with a system, this is where I kind of nerd out and, and, and I really like workflow and, and coming up with efficiencies, mm. um, thinking about, okay, how can we get from point A to point B as quickly as possible so that we can focus on the performance? Because that's where the, the really heart of it is. So uh, these are what we call touch points. So we'll have the game geo, uh, the, the background model, modelers will uh, kind of create the background and we'll, we'll tell them to focus on like this little area. It's like, okay, you don't have to finish anything else. We care about the touch points on this area, like lock those down, make those, you, know, you can add detail, but don't change where the wall is. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we'll use that as a blueprint to figure out like, okay, there's, there was a rock here. 
uh, you know, and so we'll kind of figure out like exactly what this uneven terrain would be and kind yeah. of like where those would be. Um, and we can measure all this on the stage. Uh, we can kind of look at the screen and we have this little like mocap device. We call it a smogden. Uh, you'll see in, in one of the things, but it's basically just like a point in space that you can use. It's like this 3D measuring where it's like, okay, there's a wall right here. Ah. So we need to build something until they'll push a bunch of blocks over and like build a wall. So now, now the actors can touch this thing. Uh, and so we kind of build it all out that way. But it takes a lot of time on the stage also to figure that out. So we came up mm. with a system that, that we could do before we get to the stage, uh, wow. you know, offline where I built... I got the schematics for like every different thing, every prop that we have on the stage. And we built this little script that would allow us to, in Maya, bring all these points in. So we could basically like stack these together. Like, okay, I need, a, I need a 60 box and a 20 box. And let me wow. add a truss over here. And then, you know, and so you have kind of like an inventory of things on the stage that you can kind of play around with. And so then we'll come up with this little oh my God. schematic of like, okay, we're going to need a bar here because we, you know, we don't want them to hit their head on this thing. So we just need something to, to indicate, you know, where that is. We've got these two, you know, you can see in, in the game here, uh, they're going to be lifting these two big, uh, uh, you know, timbers. Yeah, the reference here, guys. Uh, so we add these kind of truss here and they, they've got some weight to it. Uh, and so we'll give the stage this kind of like 3D model. Because yeah, you can render they, it in real time now, can't you? Like yeah, we can render it in real time. All the so they'll, actors they'll kind of bring this. See them do it, right? They'll they'll bring this into Motion Builder. We can see this on all the screens, and then uh, you can't really see it here, but like here is kind of like this this real time marker, mm. and so that's what this little device is here. Uh, so this is Walt, uh, who, who's kind of like helping with the stage. And so they'll measure, they'll look at the screens and they'll kind of put together our little blueprint wow. uh, as far as like how these things kind of all come together. And while they're, while they're kind of building the set, we'll try and do things in parallel where I'll talk with the actors and say like, okay, here's, here's a, a video of the game. This is the previs. This is what we're going to what we're going to create uh and then i'll talk them through the scene and while we're, we're kind of getting the the intricacies of, of the set built uh and then um you know we'll kind of like show all the the various details they can actually see the game because we'll, we'll capture it on video so they can actually see like okay you know and you guys have worked on with motion capture before you have to use your imagination so much right you don't know you know, imagine like there's this big mountain here, there's, you know, and so yeah, it's like stage, um, it's like stage, right? So we <clears> try <throat> and show them as much as we can of the game, like at whatever state it's at so that, so that you get a visual picture of, oh, yeah. of, of what that scene is. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and then we act it, then we perform it. So right here, you can see wow. the game we've got right now. This is, this is uh, Mike and Chris uh, performing this scene out. This is almost perfect. This is exactly the frame we've got. Yeah, that's exactly it. the frame. Oh my God. Um, yeah, and yeah, this look, is how look, we make it. Yeah. So, wow. So you can see, uh, and, and the way that we would direct it is we'll, we'll try and do this as much as we can in one pass so that we get the wow. feet kind of in the same place. So, I'll say, okay, you know, action, we need to get an entrance in there. So, Drake comes in first, has to idle, waiting for, uh, waiting for Sam, huh. right? So, so Sam could be far away. So what? the Sam section comes in later. Mm -hmm. And so then we have an idol here. So this is where you have the triangle prompt, right? Yeah, so right yeah. now, yeah, what you see in the game, the, like the player's not doing anything. We need a loop of them yeah. just kind of waiting, right? And then I say, okay, now lift. How long are those loops usually? How long do you try to get a variety? Long. I mean, we could see in game, right? It's probably like four or five yeah. seconds, you know, maybe. Yeah, sure. Uh, mm -hmm. We can make them as long as we want, but then an animator has to go and, and clean everything up. The, yeah, the yeah. audio team has to make foley for everything. So it, it yeah, definitely sure. adds up. Uh, uh, but yeah, so what we'll do as much as we need. And then, so this is like mashing triangle. And then we'll be like, okay, now now do the reverse. So the player oh, doesn't match fast enough. Triangle. Yeah, or yeah, stop yeah. mashing triangle. But we, we go back to that starting point. Oh, wow. Then we go back. And like, okay, now mass triangle again. 
keep mashing triangle, cat mash triangle, mash. Now go back. And so we'll get some versions of that. Now Jeez. we need a success pass. Mash Todd, triangle, you can do that mash triangle, mash triangle. And then you get all the right exits. Ego yeah, is into like the title. <laughs> this. Yeah, there it is. Oh, Here it goes. That's an IGC. Go there. Uh, okay, come on through. This is uh, blowing my mind off. It's your thing. Your preparation so, yeah, a, in this, Jeremy, has been anything, so. incredible. Like the insight that you're giving is yeah. phenomenal. You're really making the whole rest of the show look pretty crap. Oh, um, no. I, I actually got very <laughs> lucky that I happened to look at the screen and know, like, wait a minute, I have that scene. So, uh, yeah, that was um, perfect timing. Hey, really, I'm, again, I'm, noob question okay, time. Yeah. Do you do that for every single sequence or are you able to build it per se once you have enough kind of stock? You mean like reuse it in a sense? Well, like does every single moment have to be yeah, how much of it is mocap? Mocap? Like are you doing this uh, for every single So like you're I would not doing say it for just run stuff, right? 1 and 2 we I would call it Frankenstein-y, right? Where we would take bits of things. It's like, okay, we have this shot that we shot for this other thing. Let's like splice it together. We'll kind of hand key something in the middle. It doesn't actually save time to do it that way. Hmm. Um, and since we have, um, we have essentially our own motion capture stage, so we can shoot as much as we want. It's all within Sony. Sony owns the stage. Yeah. So we still, it's still part of our budget, but it's, but we're paying Sony to let us do it. You know what I mean? So, so it all kind of, a, you know, it's all in the family in a sense. So the, the kind of okay. works out in, in, in that way. Um, uh, but honestly, it it's a lot more authentic to, you know, and, and it, 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 honestly, it's, it does save time where it's just like, oh, wait, here's the scene. Here's exactly what the touch points are for this thing. We can just build it for, for that moment. Because it's that Frankenstein thing, I guess. You've, you've got the the opposite problem of, like, if you build it from scratch, then you get it exactly the first time as you need it. Whereas if you're Frankenstein, right. you're like, well, I have to move that hand now, so it's not quite, right. it's, it's a log, so it's not quite the same thing. And right, gonna, right. And yeah, especially with, like, the feet, you know, it's just like, you know, when the feet don't, aren't, aren't moving, you know, it's just like, I need to take a few steps to the right. Yeah. That's not an easy animation to do, right? No. So... Uh, and, and it shows, right? Even even like really good animators, I mean, they'll spend weeks on something to, to, to make that the weight feel right, the weight shifts right. It's yeah. easier to just capture it the way you want it, to perform the way you want it. You know, especially if we if we uh, know the dialogue or or have the dialogue recorded before, then we can actually perform on top of it as well. I suppose this that's, place that's like when it really comes remind together. me of the St. Dismas Cathedral. You know, uh, you guys I don't you know. Know, do a lot of cinematics, so you're used to having, you have the script, you're kind of performing that scene, yeah. but a lot of these Roll interactive scenes, they actually do the writing after the fact. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, so so it's like, sure they'll, it works, they'll just right? tell like, yeah, like we have a mechanic, like, oh, what you we can have find up there. here, and it. there's all this dialogue that we don't know what that dialogue's gonna be. Well, there's a pie. And so hey, look up here, it's beautiful. Yeah, well, that's sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So if it's, if it's not beautiful, and, you better not say that. <laughs> so the so so the the actors can't really perform much. You okay? uh, the last of us two, the two that's where we really okay. started to like, okay, uh, we really want to build. I mean, and that's a very different game too, because that game is all about character and performance and like yeah. it's the subtleties. Sam. Uh, and so uh, that game, we we had a lot more of that Sam, um, hey, dialogue still there? recorded up front, the scripts written. God damn it. So we would actually perform these out as see as scenes, as mm -hmm. moments, marriage. as well as kind of doing all these various away. mechanics kind of later. Two cycles. So that's the dream, oh, when we can get all those and pieces together that early. But that's it's really hard to do. The bright oh, side. Yeah, yeah. That, that, we had lots of situations. Certainly with Gears of War, we had a lot of situations where we went into it intending to do non-stop mocap and then they were kind of like uh it's we, we still some of the scripts we're not quite there yeah, and some of the level builds right. aren't quite where we want us so we well we we're just gonna All we right, won't do that right. you know so it was right. I, I think the game it's still great but like they again they do they do amazing stuff but it's it was as the actor you were like oh man like it was it would have been more fun to have been able to do them all because the ones that we did get to do 
for the, some of the bigger scenes Maybe were so I much fun. Climb over the bridge. Right. So it's like, but it did. So there's so many things that have to go right, and there's no point like you can't really afford to hold the game up for like four months while you <laughs> wait. Yeah, for something I mean, and that's that's together. that's the hard thing, right? Like you either wait till the very last minute to record yeah. all these scenes, right? Because you have to have the game built. You have to have the whole story like figured out, and you know, as Josh was saying, there's so much of the writing and design that go hand in hand. So you have to have all that stuff massaged out. Uh, you know, and we try to wait as long as possible. Um, you know, we keep this in previous stage as long you? as we can. Finding a way to get uh, you to up here. Try to get as much of that that right. other information as we, jump as we across can. Um, but at some point, you're just like, you know what? We we can't wait any longer. Go, we yeah. have to start, you know. Well, we need you to have these scenes. everything all right? You have this yeah, scene as well, don't you, Jeremy? I think. You know what? I couldn't. I couldn't get. I had this scene. Couldn't get that one. No worries. Um. So this kind of stuff, though, they would animate. So there are certain parts that you can sort of do on your own, but mostly, it's mocap, right? Well, so all of this, uh, it was I mean, everything you saw here with, with Drake, uh, that's gameplay as, as he's kind of doing the monkey bars. And then as he landed, that was an IGC. So that was all kind of uh, either recording from the game and then a lot of hand key. Uh, and then that seems into a motion capture interactive scene where, uh, you know, where Sam caught Drake. Yes. Up. Cool. Yeah. Where am I taking uh, so, this? We can take that. You got it. I don't think you need that. Oh, oh. what? Did, yeah, did yeah. You well, it, it kind of explains it. You probably didn't hear the game dialogue, but 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 Sam was pulling that out to help you out. Uh, oh, and, he was like, and then oh, I got shoot. up. I didn't realize you were gonna jump across, and then you're there. Oh yeah, yeah. right. I want to point out how normally Nathan Drake seems to have extremely strong upper body stuff, but when he was lifting right. up that. Um, that log or that the, the, those fallen beams he went for the underneath full like full squat so he's clearly yeah. got massive thighs as well <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's absolutely incredibly built this man yeah. oh boom good. Exactly no problem. That. look at that thank smooth. you first time sam no good it's a dead end how daunting was oh, what? um being told you were going to do some open world stuff were you like oh cool go back. <laughs> or was that yeah, not affect I mean, you as much um yeah, I mean, yes and no. I mean, it's 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 all systems that we need to do. I mean, we, sure. you know, as animators, we care a lot about performances. We care a lot about telling stories. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's a big part of what we do. And oh, we'll go back to it. Yeah. a challenge to that. Uh, oh. yeah. Super dead. <laughs> At least you fell in the water. You'll be fine. That's I not really a death. Think, <laughs> I think I remember you climb onto the pillar underneath you. Oh, under where that well. tree is so yeah once once you go off uh with the grapple hook yeah there you go grapple it up okay oh, these yeah. dusty these dusty memories are starting to come back. <laughs> turn around oh. so down here is it so it's, i think you need to get to that big pillar somehow oh on the right no way. uh on the on the left if you turn to the left a little bit i think that you, big the center pillar don't you, yeah don't see a lot of highlighted paths there. Maybe not. <laughs> no. Maybe not. Paths. I mean, I can climb up here and then he can grapple again. And then he that starts deal. swinging. So. Something under there, maybe? Oh, oh there. Yeah, right there, right there. Oh, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. I realized this whole time I was on mute trying to direct you. <laughs> to and I'm like, yeah, why isn't nobody following what Jeremy's saying? <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah, and then a bunch of us who have played it for years oh, and so make the game. We're like, I don't know, man. Like, hang on. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure I made the game. I'm kind of an idea what we're doing here. <laughs> well, I mean, to be like, I played this, you know, dozens of times making it, and then we finished yeah, it, sure. and then I haven't played it since. I'm just yeah, like, you okay, get I'm to a point where you, Yeah, yeah. You get to a point where, like, after, you know, if you're an editor in a film, you'd probably be like, you know what? If I never see any frames of this ever again in my whole life, <laughs> yeah. Fine. Right, right. Do you like, have a favorite, Jeremy, or is it like picking a favorite child? A favorite Uncharted? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ouch. I'm gonna eat that. Uh, I mean, I'll answer honestly. I this was one of my favorites to work on for sure. Uh, yeah. Uncharted Two is obviously a, a really big. How you doing? Uh, they're all kind of not this way. They, they all have their own kind of personalities. With a franchise that you're building, I mean, I'm obsessed with making things better. 
So each You're game we get to make it better than we than we were before. We learn from from what we did before. We have better technology. Yeah. We're able to, to squeeze more out of the hardware. So you know, obviously, PlayStation Four that opened up like a whole new world to yeah. us of what we could do. That reach. Uh, yeah. And, uh, so this was kind of like all right. just firing like on all cylinders. Right Everything we'd learned from the previous generation with with like no you know we were kids in a candy store with with all that we could do with it so this was yeah. a lot of fun to work on um but yeah each, have, each one was 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 kind of fun on its own do you have an animation okay. that you're most proud of that you go you're like i pulled this off i made this like, oh, you have wow. something you're like well i mean it, it could be like the first one you ever did maybe i don't know where you was like i can I, do I, this yeah. maybe this is a good thing to talk about the climbing system because i was very proud yeah. of, of the work i can imagine that. I can't um, even imagine how you'd start doing that. Yeah, yeah you've got a whole uh, thing on So yeah, as, as you're right? climbing around, I'm, I'll, I'll do a little. Uh, let's do a little another yeah, slideshow. Oh that yeah. Process. Oh, Saiyan's dropped a question um, with a little bit of soup here. Question for Jeremy: Was the grappling hook soup. mechanic an original idea for UC4, or was it an idea presented on pre previous titles but just couldn't implement it in it then? The good grappling question. hook. Mm, good uh, question. If you talk to question. Kurt. That that's his baby. So he'll tell you. Uh -huh. He might have had an idea on previous games that, that we didn't get to put in. Uh, but the grappling hook, from my knowledge, was a unique to Uncharted Four. Um, there was actually a mechanic we tried to get in Uncharted Three that you could shoot handholds. So you could you could like blast, oh. you know, with with an Uzi up a wall and then oh, climb and each of those holes. That's so awesome. Uh, that never so made it into ship. Uh, that uh, sounds insanely hard to do. But yeah, it was. It was. Like, we got it working. It totally worked. It's the hardest part that it can ruin some like of the this. actual. No, I can't say I did. Kind of well, yeah, because like, you oh, so yeah. now you can just shoot everything anywhere and climb out of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah true, true. true. So that, that's been always like, a big thing, you. you know. Uh, you know, if you're making a game like Zelda, where it's like it's designed to go everywhere and anywhere, that's one thing. But like our games. It's like we're you heading know, down. Like they, 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 they do have boundaries, uh, yeah. you know, with, with the Uncharted games. So yeah, it would be hard to go, like a lot of those games think of fun ways. Right. Of it's yeah. just like a massive world to get to the edge of the open world and stuff like that. Like, oh, I can't climb that high. But yeah, if you can find a way to <sighs> essentially give them a mechanic to break that. That's the second like, right, biggest sister name. <laughs> QA would be like, that's it. I'm never going home. That's great. I'll tell you later. Oh, oh I love the mud mechanics. I'm not going to lie. I was oh, and, then, and yeah, the mud gets on his, his clothes. Too. Yeah, all oh, so oh, good. The wet, the wet clothes from the water and stuff. Sam, yeah. come I, around that was this one way. Of those I was like, he's actually wet. How are they doing that? <laughs> yeah. Like, I think, is that Uncharted <laughs> I remember two we, so Uncharted 1, actually, yeah. we got the wet one? clothes. And it was one, yeah, you're right. Blew my mind. And it's yeah. high over time. So, oh, yeah. Yes. Nice. I remember sitting there just watching them dry because I was kind of yeah. like, this can't be, you can't have made this. So they're drying. Yeah, they just, actually... like, I guess, like, over time, they go through a phase, I guess, of different anima, I guess, different skins or something, I suppose. I don't know. What yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a shader thing. I mean, there's shader actually, a, this is a really nerdy thing. That we totally Wait. passed it. We walked right past it um, in the marketplace. You doing okay? Uh, actually, this was, uh, it was before we played. So when you first go to the marketplace, yeah. uh, and, and Lots of supplies uh, in here. Drake and Tools, Sully seeds, are kind of standing on that staircase and kind of walk down into the market. This mm. There is a... A background scene that's playing that we animated someone like painting on a wall, and it was this long sequence that like you guy like takes the paint bucket and he goes and walks huh. to the ladder, and then he's like painting, and then we actually like painted the wall, and it's dark where he's painting, and if you wow. sit there for like five minutes, it dries. It will slowly, slowly change color. What? Oh my God. The, yeah, it's That's you can literally crazy. see the paint dry. It was yeah, incredible. You heard it first. <laughs> yeah, Uncharted Four paint dry mechanic. Paint, paint so dry yes, simulator. That, like there's people out there that find a lot of these little details, and sometimes there's things probably that they've never found. Um, I mean, yeah, so let's talk about climbing. I'm going to talk your wow. ear off about climbing. Yeah, go, please. So, yeah, so what I was most yeah, yeah. proud of was, was definitely this system. So, uh, as I said earlier, I worked on this for a year and a half. Um, as a lead, my 
kind of the second half of the project, like I don't get to animate anything. I have, yeah. I'm working. As, I'm, I'm essentially working on the the interactive scene. And so we have a whole team uh, that working with uh, on that. I partnered with uh, Mike. Uh, he was my co lead on this. So we kind of split the game in half. Uh, I did one half and kind of oversaw um, uh, one half the game. He oversaw the other half, and so we kind of each pick our levels. I'm way too busy to animate, kind of managing that team. But before we get to that, kind of like the first, if, if the game takes about four years or so for us to make, first year and a half, two years, I just get to focus on gameplay. Because mm. um, that's kind of like what I, I, I love gameplay animation. That's kind of what I did. Um, the first two games is, is all, uh, is, is kind of like the, the main player animation. So this was kind of me getting back to my, my roots with that. So... Uncharted. From scratch? Yes. So this is a whole new system. Uncharted uh, one, two, yeah. and three. We had diorama. climbing, uh, that but like it was it was basically dino jumping. You could just kind stuff. of like jump around. These guys. Uh, and, and the levels were all built. Uh, I called it following the yellow brick road. Yeah. You know, all of like yeah. you know, it's just like okay, these go are the yellow go, bricks. Go, you go, can yeah. only touch yeah. these things. And you really just basically yeah, spam your way up. So I wanted to come up with something that was a lot more interactive hmm. and. That you had to kind of like think about and um so it was myself uh amelia schatz Sam, and ryan look, broner he's, hey, he's our uh, programmer uh, maybe they uh, were and amelia is, is one of our lead designers pirate and so this was kind of like climbing <laughs> was our baby and uh oh. we they'd sent uh, a number of us to a climbing gym that we got instruction uh <laughs> professional instruction on like how, wow. how to climb really and so kind of stuff. from that Blueprint. Our one of our big Round takeaways prints. was how much weight and, and like your weight shifting and balance like has to do with with Sam, climbing. Check it out. And so um, we come two, up with a system where like um, we would allow the player. This is all on the stick. We allow the players to kind of put their hands literally anywhere that they want. Uh, and then if there's a handhold, then it'll transition into an animation that would. Look match Pirate kind of like that, that those oh, hand yeah, positions yeah, like this yeah, is like right. kind of a far reach kind of like 90 degrees mm -hmm. uh and so you know i have you know here's like like 135 degrees down you know like you know, shit. And, yeah and so i had this whole system <laughs> of rings yeah, attacking the guns concentric away. rings it, it, it looks like a spider web and i'll, I'll show you that in a bit this of is, like this is the all the different places that you can put his hand and then the specific climbing animation would go from this pose to Climbing to that staging thing. ground of some kind. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so this really is all built with Russian uh, still stands a number of individual poses that are all blending have. together. Look at all this. Yeah. Uh, your to ah, okay. You can do this on the, the left hand or the right hand. Well, things don't and so with well. this system, uh, this is a lot of stuff that that we ended up not shipping with. Uh, but we had uh, um, a rate climbing, I think that's the, the name of it. So basically you could you could use this edge as a handhold. Oh, so if man. if he uh, grabbed onto that edge, then you would need to, f to deflect the stick away and lean oh, away wow. from it. Because if you leaned this way, he'd slip and oh, fall and die. Yeah, wow. So it was very, you know, tenuous. You kind of hmm. grab that edge and kind of lean away, you know, grab, you know, grab this other So it was like a little mini that. mechanic kind of thing. Little mini so mechanic. Little uh we had uh one-handed handholds so there was wow. like these crimps where you could just get his his two fingers yeah, on it yeah. you couldn't put so you couldn't actually like transition your hands this way so you would like yeah, yeah, you'd go. have to this kind of bold, bold, bold closest right. to like real yeah real bullet where you, you find your something. line you're like okay no, no, no. i'm gonna start with my, way or my left hand there. and then just I'm gonna it go together. right to right left okay. right to left and so we, we kind of had all that working did that take uh, away from like the arcade just like oh, the, the, the yes, action yes. of it as it were? Yeah, and that's kind of essentially why a lot of that, that treasure. we, we yeah, had to make a hard call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, yeah. Slippery handholds where, oh, wow. where you, you could grab them carefully, but if you dino jump to Whoa. them, you'll slip and fall and die. Wow. You know, we looks had like breakable handholds where it's like you can only hold sure on for a like few it. seconds. It's crumbling under your weight. Kind of like on charge one, we did some of those. Yeah. Those so we had like this whole um, 
uh, language of handholds that are in the rocks. That's like so the the player had to kind of carefully look how I'm going to do my business. And so my my goal was like I wanted to create like just getting point A to point B to be a puzzle player, where we have to you know the player has to kind of like carefully figure out how you do yeah, it and totally. it, it was a, a uh, lot of fun to play symbols. but ultimately it didn't fit the pace of the game and um you know bruce, bruce Drelli was the one that was really having to make the hard calls to say you know what this is great but but <laughs> it this doesn't work with combat you know, like, you know, oh combat yeah and it's, it feels like something you'd like it to be able to do like it's a shame you couldn't find some way to make it like a featured segment like it's its own little thing but i guess yeah, you feel like it could be that's in everything kind of what it would be i mean that that's you know we, we did have those sections where you know through a number of iterations uh you know the, the, the um the rate climbs where we cut those the one-handed yeah. we cut those um and then we had the slippery ones which we had played around with stamina we had a stamina oh, yeah. system so then it was like okay if if you've got a big ledge, you can hold on to that forever. Yeah. Um, if you have a small crimp handhold, you've got a yeah. certain amount of stamina that, that you yeah. know, so you have to kind of get to the next safety. Uh, and then we had uh, the piton. So the piton, there was a game that came out uh, called I'm Alive. It was this yeah. kind of, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, post-pandemic game. And they had a stamina system and, a, and they had this piton where the piton was at your rest point. You had like um, usable, you know, you had a, a number of usable pitons. So very early on, we played around with that where Drake had a number of pitons. Like, yeah. you know, you collect these things, you know, wow. like three pitons, and now I can make it up this wall. Oh, wow. Um, so we played around with that. Hey, no um, idea how to do this puzzle. So I'm definitely <laughs> going to oh, okay. need some help. If you can um, start, hide the yeah, screen right. again, unless you're, oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. That's fine. It was just paused. <laughs> yeah, um, let me know if you guys need to jump in with anything. But I'll, like I said, I'll talk no, to you. This is fat, no, this is yeah, no, no, all good. It's so fascinating. Uh, it's like it's it so wonderful like here. Keyframed and then tweened kind of thing, where it's like he's in. You got to pose, pose like well, well, like that. Yeah. So we we uh of... yeah, I'll, I'll jump around a little bit. So. Oh, hang on. Move, I just need to get the, through this. You want to get um, this puzzle done? Yeah, I got to get through this puzzle. Otherwise, you got to get move the move the ball back where you're changing. Um. That. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you need that symbol to match, so you need to change that to the W. Oh, was it not? That was already the W, wasn't it? Yeah, change it back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Had that already. Yep, got that. And then push that back into the light. Yep. Okay, and then um, if you turn like turn your camera. This way. Mhm. Mm Okay, so you just have to fi figure out it's like a light game, so you need to have the symbols match. So there has to be h half a. Okay, <laughs> it's really hard to like actually talk you through. Okay, so that ball <laughs> moved and changed into the the W spot. Yeah. So there's another ball that you would need to make a half moon spot, I guess. Okay. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. So move everything back over to where you were changing. Over here. Oh, I've got to move yeah. this ball back to a half moon. Yeah. Now you got to change that to a half moon. Like that? So, oh, literally halfway, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now take it now back. It back. Ah. Nailed it. First try. Easy. Thank you, Pagan. All right, back to the cool... Oh, the, uh, coolness. Coolness. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I'll, I'll rewind a little bit. So this is kind of my little playground level where so this is um, I had every was possible so angle so of, of so doing teaming up with Abe. You know, he was and the most to be unique animations that, that, the that had to be made gunpowder. for that specific uh, like great from along. this angle exactly. to that angle that uh, was, was a specific uh, And then we had an IK system on top. Um, for, for kind of the whole body, we had physics on top of that. So there's a lot kind of going on. And this is all um, Brian Broner, our, our amazing programmer, uh, kind of working, symbols of uh, working on all this. Uh, yeah. This, we never really were going to ship with this, but this 
you know, it technically worked uh, when we when we had a piton system working. The piton thing, right, yeah. Uh, or it's just like, oh, let's just, just put one in each hand and you can, like, free climb anywhere. Wow. Uh, so we weren't going to be able to ship like this because, again, you're going to just climb yourself out, out of the, the world. world. Yeah. Uh, you know, but it was super fun to, yeah, to wow. actually have this working. And I spent way too many, uh, I made too many test levels. Uh, so it's like, like we're not gonna ship with this, but I want to play this game. <laughs> I know, man. Well, who knows? Maybe there's a naughty god dog game like five years, ten years from now, where they're like, yeah. you know what? This it's set in the snow, and this happens, and then look at that. We got some yeah, maybe maybe someday. Maybe actually here you can see a, a little bit of stamina bar. This this is kind oh of, yeah, uh, there it is. Prototype of what that would have been. Uh, I feel like they would have jazzed that up. The final game, I feel like. uh, then the, so let me. Yeah, that, this was all like super early on, like first first year of development. Was there uh, like so a? Was, yeah. Go on. yeah, no, go on, go on. Oh, so this was this was that reach system. So you can see mm. this. So if the player is go. kind of like, no, like you just in this kind of center section here, grabbing onto this middle handhold, then you had they're kind of barely reaching their hand out, Got reaching it. a little bit further out, reaching further out, reaching. Further yeah, out, really so I had again. all these different got, rings, uh, and these were all Joseph individual Darryl, animations that they made, um, kind of for for all those. Anything in between, we kind of uh, used the closest. We had this this whole uh, system that would find like the closest animation, and then it would use mm -hmm. the IK to kind of like fill in all the blanks. Uh, but essentially, we could climb anywhere you could reach. Uh, Drake could could kind of climb. So these are kind of like what those individual poses would be like on the far yeah, circle. Symbols on the ring are constantly uh, and so every single one of these was a frame. Each one of these had its own uh, you know, circle that all had a work wall blending up, down, left, right, you know, all around. Uh, and then we built the real wall. So, so this was our climbing wall. Uh, and you can see uh, this is Bill Beamer. He he uh, built those rings that I had. Yeah. And and then he drilled little holes in here where we could move handholds wherever we want, and then we would have okay. uh, you know an, an actor uh, Jesse LaFlair, who's um, kind of our main stunt actor on, on a lot of. Because I assumed it was you after you did all that training. Yeah, I'm right. Uh, I did a lot of testing on this thing, but. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so Jesse, he's a pro parkour <laughs> athlete. He's like the Tony nice. Hawk of parkour. He's amazing, wow. has amazing upper body strength, and he was Yo, able man. to do anything that we needed in kind of like all these different transitions. Uh, so Bill kind of designed this cool little thing where it's like it actually pivots here, so we could do kind of like rounding a corner, going on huh. inside corners, uh, and just put handholds wherever we needed it. Did you have to make a bunch of like after you built this system? Did you then have wow. for everyone else? You're like, hey, here's the rules. Like, you a, a handhold can't be this far away. It can't be this far away. He can like. Did you have any like? Yeah. You have to. He has to be able to put his feet on rocks. He can't be free hanging. You know, I mean, we had to come up with a system that worked for like everything. Wow. So uh, yeah, we have free hanging. We have uh, ah. you know, and, and pretty much anywhere you could reach, we had that, and then we had on top of that. Dino jump, so we yeah. had you know, some radius where you could do like these short little hops or these big yeah. dino jumps. That's where we're so going. We, we um, captured and no, animated all those. Uh, uh, Nicole uh, helped make this uh -huh. physics system on top of the, the climb suit. So this kind of like the red skeleton is the original animation, and then you mm. can see Drake is kind of like very cool. Mostly look at his butt. Because gravity's uh, taking him to physics places. on that, the yeah. gravity and momentum all kind of helps make it really smooth. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, and and it's it's subtle. It, it was almost like unnecessary for for some of the climbs because we had so many animations uh, to kind of cover for it. Um, but it added this subtle little um, that bit of fidelity. But then where it really uh, came into play was in the. Uh, hang climbing. So this is uh, this is yeah. without any physics, right? Plays an animation, plays a land animation, and it's pretty stiff. Uh, and it this is you know more or less a blend from from this jump to yeah. this kind of like you know idle animation. So mm. McCall kind of worked on this whole physics system that um, would would play on top, and it's the same thing where you make these physics profiles where it's like you pin the legs and then. Um, you know, make it so that the, the lower body all reacted with the momentum 
hmm. um, of the physics and it it looks so much better you, you know as yeah. you can see and you're having literally just someone like this parkour guy jeremy just make these jumps yeah so they would they yeah. would make these jumps uh at you know various degrees we obviously can plus them in animation a lot okay uh, yeah yeah uh, I mean, these are incredibly difficult to pull off in real life. So, oh, uh, right. uh, you know, luckily they're, they're only like feet off the ground. So they're not going to really hurt themselves if they fall. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, we, we would build, uh, I, I believe this was one of the things that I, that I have video of it, that I wasn't able to, to get approval in oh, time, good. but, uh, I was about to ask that bar, too, actually, you know, that, that trust, you know, it's almost like the, the, um, like a stage trust. They, they'd kind of hold onto that and then we would build bars across it and so they could they could hold onto this and jump to the bar yeah, uh, wow. and that's how we do a lot of those dino jumps so yeah it's just uh, i mean like it, it's it's kind of a cool testament to to what you guys are trying to achieve and that you could possibly have not gone to that much trouble and i, I mean i, I watched yeah. that first animation and I'm like it's pretty cool and then yeah. you see the second and now. Now, the improved animation and you're like that looks way cooler but it must like just kind of amazing that you guys go no it's not enough we can do better i was gonna ask yeah because this would have been around the time like because well, assassin's creed's been going for a while too did you guys have like a sort of a friend friend friendly kind of we, we can we can top there because obviously they do a lot of parkour but it feels less kind of substantial like it feels like this this has a real heftiness to it that's a long way so i mean do you guys just ignore that or do you do you aware of like trying to out, and we're out. definitely aware of, of other games that are coming out. I, I would say Assassin's Creed was probably the the other big climbing, climbing game, game, you know, yeah. at the time. Uh, so there's definitely a lot that that we kind of saw what what was working uh, well and, and hey, wasn't there. for us. Found a way there. Back. Yeah, totally. Um, I mean, this so with the reach system is pretty unique. I haven't yeah. seen anything yeah. quite yeah. like that. Yeah. I, yeah. Assassin's I Creed <laughs> is, yeah, uh, I believe we'll they. I mean, they definitely used a lot of IK, but it was more uh kind of similar to like here's a bunch of different uh, mm. climbs i mean everything in that game is more or less a grid uh yeah. so so they kind of like you know could piece things together that way um snap, this snap, is a lot snap. more organic uh, at least than, than the assassin's creed i think this was probably around assassin's snap. creed 3 yep. uh was was uncharted 4 um so that was all kind of urban kind of you know building down there. grids yeah um uh, this system works well with that too. We didn't do a lot of building climbing in our game, but we had. It's not really a brand, is it? I, it worked. I mean, we could literally like turn on edges on on a building and climb up this. this yeah, wow. Well, uh, that's cool. So, so it all it all works. Um, but yeah, it just wasn't kind of right for, for this. Game. Yeah, no, uh, no, I wouldn't assume it would be. But it's just interesting because I'm sure that it's like. In, in, in all games, whether it's like, you know, you're making the latest basketball game or something like that, you're always kind of like, all right, okay. so how are you guys doing that over there? All right, cool. Like, do, is that interesting right. for you? Is like, Do you play games and you sort of look at them and go, okay, so that's what you've done head. there. I see yeah, how you've animated that. I see how you put this together. That's oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. no, absolutely, that absolutely. I mean, I, you know, it's, it's no, kind cigarette. of such an incestuous, you know. There he is. We, we learn so much from each other. Yeah, uh, you know, and that was what I was saying that I, I love so much about about E three is mm. that. Yeah, you know, we're talking about E three before. Bro. As you're still working on the project to see the latest and greatest from all these different studios, and be like, okay. I was I was, I was, I was working and try to figure out how to make it better. <laughs> I was working on a game that didn't end up seeing the light of day, and it was really hard because I, a lot of the actors weren't gamers, but I was, and so like the the head of the studio would be like, "Hey, do you want to see the latest build?" And I'd be seeing, it, and I was like, "Oh, cool, man! It's kind of like..." Hey, did you see that um that uh, new Ghost Recon game? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. We saw that. I'm like, oh, no, sorry. So, and uh, you can see that I just broke yeah. his heart a little bit. Where oh, like, I know. Yeah, I know. they just made they just released something that we were doing, and we didn't get there first. And I'm like, I, yeah, honestly, I hate it when that happens. Uh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, it takes so us. long, right? Oh no. Uh, in Last of Us Two, we were working on the rat game, and we were working on that for okay. a while. And yeah. right when we were like. You know, I mean, we're committed. We, we've got the whole, yep. you know, sequence figured out, oh, the character, all this stuff. Uh, all Stranger right, Things season three came what out, we... and they literally had a creature made of rats <laughs> chasing oh. someone through a hospital, and we're just like, 
Are you joking? Oh my gosh. Are you joking? Well, <laughs> big great reference. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were totally. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. I'm, I'm making a board game about it. something, and the battalion. And my co creator <laughs> is just the whole time. He's everything. like, we have to release. Someone's going to make this. Someone's going to make this. Just no, no, make it. Like, we can't rush it. It's just going to yeah. be what just it is. A little we bit hope of that better. But you know, like it's one I'll of those things. That, like someone's gonna do this, song. and they're gonna. Re- you know, they're like, "Oh, you just copied mm. it." I'm like, no, we've been doing it for years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you like, yeah, oh, can't really convince them that you've been doing totally. something. But it's uh, but, but yeah. You know, ultimately, you know, I, I think the way no, no, that no. I look You're at okay it is, never just okay. is it usually means the, the opposite. Of okay. Don't worry about what other people are doing or not doing, or what you know. It's just like we make the games that we want to play. Exactly. We don't, we're not trying to figure out what's giving me the most popular, what's going to sell the most. So how do we, you know, it's just like, we're not looking at it from like some, you know, financial spreadsheet and designing a well, game around that. Good. Like we're, that's we're like good. making like this, this feels good to us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The water and the ocean there. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, this whole thing. Oh my God. I love this scene. Yeah. This whole sequence. Oh man. Oh yeah. I mean this wasn't originally supposed to open the game. That was kind of decided later on is that wow. you know, we need to we need to start this game off uh with a bang. And it, you know, kind of uh to Uncharted 2 is the first one that, that, that really started that with that you know, train sequence. Yeah. You know, with the with the train you're like, what the heck? Yeah. Where am I? You know, yeah. and, and that was a great way to, to, to start that out. Oh my god! Uh, so we we made a, a special version for the for the intro. Mm. Uh, so I'll talk about this section. This was uh, a lot of fun to work on. Um, uh, kind of leading up to this. So Drake, here I'm gonna, I'm gonna close my little Sam! show and tell here. Sam, can you hear me? Uh, when so, should we so finish? Just, just while I'm, just while I'm sorry, you've just... got another twenty minutes or so, and this there, chapter will we get takes. Through this chapter? Um, you probably get through some of it. Um, <laughs> yeah, like you awesome won't get through the whole thing, and it'll be can. about forty minutes. Yeah, it would be yeah. awesome if we could get through the demo part of this. Um, all right, so, play really yeah. fast. You'll so. definitely yeah, get through the demo part. Going fast, yeah. okay. Uh, right. Which side do I go? Yeah. No, I'll go. Uh, but yeah, so 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 you can see Drake's oh, move set. He's, this is a unique move set for yeah. just this part of right. this level. We never do this use this again in the game, and so we had to build. Entire move set Sam, for this. Come on, climbing, answer me. Uh, mantling over things, vaulting over things. So it was all kind of unique to this. And this is yeah. something that we're uh, we've we are somewhat known for. Uncharted Three was where we went totally bananas <laughs> on it. Look at uh, that! I love where, that little that's animation. That's where wow. no one got hurt uh, on on the things. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, but those those. Uh, I, I remember Sam, Uncharted 2 Sam! was the first time that, um, that our, our, our co-president, Evan Wells, had asked me to do this kind of you know special move set for the beginning of the game. And at first I was just like, oh my gosh, are you, do you realize what you're asking? But I'm like, okay, yeah, we'll do it. And it makes such a difference, right? Because the player, like the, the player is like in Sam, that moment, they're in that scene, they're responding to like the you know, context of what's going on. And for me, it really opened my eyes to like, oh, okay, what can we do with this? And so, and in Charted 3 is where I went absolutely nuts. Uh, there's there's a sequence, the Burning Chateau sequence uh, mm. in that game. You play, you start out the game, we call it the relax move set. That's just kind of like, you know, Drake's kind of bread and butter, kind of moving around. Yeah. Uh, and then there's Uneasy Explore. So the now... He's kind of like, you know, something could pop out in any corner. There, he's a little bit nervous, and so there was like a salty, you know, into that performance. He made a whole move set for that, uh, and then they, uh, then he's sneaking around. You see the enemy characters in the chateau, and so he's got a stealth move set, uh, and then they catch him. Yeah. Now you've got combat. Then they yeah. set the thing on fire. So now you've got fire right, combat, Sam, and then you have <laughs> fire escape, where they're literally you're literally trying to book it out of out of you know, yeah, out of the building. Yeah. All of those were completely unique move sets, different cover, different animations, like all for like thirty seconds of gameplay, and it was crazy. It was crazy, and we learned a lot from it. Okay. I think we pushed what right. we could do. Performance-wise, at the time, 
Um, but what we learned from it was we built a lot of this performance into the moveset itself, which um, in retrospect, what's hard is if the performance doesn't exactly match what's happening for the player in the game, they feel like they're spazzed out. So we're like, you know, I'll tell Nolan, like, like you know, Valley people are, you know, yes, yeah, so it's like, I was like, you're, you're in combat. I need you in cover. There's people firing at you. They're coming to your left. You know, like, you know, yeah. and, and he'll, he'll react to all this. And we'll put that in the game and like you shot everybody and there's like one person left, right? And they're over there. And like yeah. no one's like <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. so it like and it and it, it it doesn't quite fit. So so that was kind of a takeaway that we had on, on part three is that like Drake felt like felt like he was on crack half the time. Uh, and so we learned how to to take that out and then add it back in with layers uh and so yeah. that's where we did a lot of work with gestures we learned a lot on last of us one um yeah. with, with having little you know little nuances and performances that we could layer on top and we could strip those to happen like okay when someone's shooting at you to the left you play the animation does that thing but when even this, you are, you know, you've just punched someone. Drake can like shake his hand. Yeah, you yeah, know. yeah. Even yeah, this yeah. though, Jeremy, is beautiful. Like seeing, seeing like the kind of the life drained out of, of yeah. Nolan here, and the physicality changes in the controller, and it's sluggish yeah. and it's labored, and yeah. it's triggering all these other kind of audio sort of stuff. It's amazing. Like the details, just awesome. Yeah, well, you think like without that, it, if you kept the same animation kind of, I guess, library, it, it loses, it, it's still awesome, but it loses so much drama. Mm -hmm. that, but yeah. it must be a tough choice to have to make, like to go, all right, we, we, guys, we're going in for like another thousand animations for this section. Or right, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Last of us we went even crazier. I mean, there, there's, you know, you can yeah. open up doors and drawers. To open a drawer in that game, it sounds like nothing. And because it's like, it just, just you know, you open the drawer, it's like, whatever. There's like 300 animations. 300 animations. Wow. Like opening a drawer. <laughs> because yeah. you had every different angle, you had every different height, you have, you know, and we yeah, want it to sure. be like perfectly smooth and seamless. Like, it's insane. Okay, so this was, real quick to jump in. So this Please. was uh, the opening of our very first gameplay that we showed the world. Uh, so wow. we had a behind the closed doors um, demo with Game Informer. So we had a, we had a oh, cover okay. for Game Informer that did a big <laughs> kind of article on us. Uh, and so we kind of showed them this whole sequence. And then the second part of the sequence, um, a number of weeks later, we showed live uh, in front of a live audience at um, PlayStation Experience, uh, PSX. So it was like their first, PSX that we did, and uh, I was lucky enough to be in the audience of that, and that was literally, it's one of the highlights of my career, uh, to be in the audience live and to see, you know, yeah. people have been waiting for this game for, you know, so long, Are you? Uh, and, and we, this was like our first time we got to show this in front of the world, and just to, see, just to be like surrounded inside of a sea of fans. Uh, you know, you're just like anonymous, like sitting in the middle of that crowd and like yeah, you know, yeah. super nervous because you're just like, I hope they like it. And just to hear, hear them just erupt like around you. Like it's, it was yeah. so amazing, so surreal. That's the cream of, that's the cream of your work right there. That's the cherry on top. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it's, it's also, you... Go on, go on. I was going to say, it's an unedited response as well, because they're not looking at you, you know, Keanu Reeves going, Keanu, we're going to give him the love. You, you, they have no idea that you're sitting there yeah, I'm like next to them. To them. Yeah. You're getting your un, raw, unfiltered response. That's yeah. that's yeah. awesome, man. <laughs> that moment is pretty cool, though. Yeah, no, no, we, we, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with um, in yeah, no, I've, I've told that story before. We've done with um, Gears of War. They didn't want to announce the cast, so we got our E3 oh, big yeah. moment. <laughs> But I'm sitting in there, which was awesome. But I'm also me, and we were all kind of like, "So hang on, so we're not announcing us, but we're having the game." And I'm like, you know, people might put it. Th I mean, they're like, "Can I?" If people guess, then I'm like, "They you can't say it's you're in it." I'm like, "This is gonna oh, get dude. Yeah. yeah. And people are like, "Yay, cool!" And they're like, "Is that you?" I'm like, "Ah, who knows?" Looks like me. Sure. Just put the amazing. voice on and be like, "No, it's not me." No, 
that's not right. Um, no, <laughs> Real quick here, so you, you saw all those little hand holes? Yes, those yes, like yes. Big yeah. ones and the little ones. So, so we had the stamina system working in this level, like just up. Like, I mean, I don't remember. It was like weeks before we showed it to the public that that finally got pulled. That we're like, okay, it was going to be the little hand holds of stamina and the big ones are not. Wow. Um, so you can see effect. kind of like this is one of the few levels that has – those different types of handholds. You've got the big ones that you can dyna jump and the little ones that, that use yeah. the stamina. Um, I kind of want to so... play that. I want to see what it is. Like, I, no. I yeah, yeah. You, you, you know, who knows? Like, I, I, I understand why not because it, it just, I guess it flows better, but it's like, there's something cool about it. Like, look that. at this shit. I, I know it's small, but like, he went past that pillar then and it was near his head, so he pushed it away. Yeah. That's so that, so that we put in wild. part of three. That was uh, Travis McIntosh and I. So he's he's one of our programmers, and mm. we just came up. I mean, it's like it's the dumbest, simplest little animation. It's literally like uh. I animated that. It was like that was it. And yeah, then, yeah. And Travis, like you know, figured out IK and you know got it working on the wall. It was this this dumb little detail that we added. Everybody talks about Drake touches the wall, like you know. Oh, they do. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, like I, I don't know yeah. what it is about that detail specifically that like people. You well, know, because it's so it is so now. detailed. Yeah. Like it's so, you know, it's it's one of those things where you realize that games have gone a little further than they had before. Like where it's 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 mm. less about just being able to. Even, I guess, to a certain extent, Uncharted 1, even though that was revolutionary in other ways, it was like, yeah. that was like, wow, you can climb walls and stuff, and it's awesome. That's like, you're not, you're not just climbing walls, but in context, when you do stuff, you other things break. happen that you don't right. controlling. It just yep. kind of it just happens, and it lets you feel like yeah, you're part of what it is. Right, just, right. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah I mean, it is, it's one of those, like, subtle... No. Oh, 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 no. no. <laughs> when you when you come out of the cave, it's like no. And when you come out of the cave and you're on the rope, you can take a right instead of going. Oh well, actually, you're on the bottom now. So I'm on. Okay. You don't. Yeah, have you to. go. You climb up that thing, right? Yeah, you can climb up. Oh, I climb up the rope. You need to get to the top of that. Oh, sorry. So if you when you come out of the cave and you can take a right, there's the handholds there as well. So you can climb up the rope. Yeah, that must be one of the most like. And you can run on this wall too. You can like. Oh, there you go. You can pendulum oh, yeah. your way. That is. Yeah, it's a whole other system we have to do. Oh, <laughs> the pendulum you is know, amazing though. You can, you reaches, and that's when you know you can you can let go and grab. Yeah, the pendulum's amazing. But like that must be one of the most satisfying and sort of infuriating things as an animator in a game like this, where it's you've you've done so much work that it's so subtle and seamless that people don't yeah. appreciate it. I know, like, I know. You're just like, don't you know how hard it is to do that? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, That's cool, man. It's really cool. You're like, God damn. Well, you're about you're about to get to my favorite wall in the entire game. Ooh, favorite that wall, wall that's, that's, that's right there. there. On the favorite wall. Yeah. So right that's here, I spent so much time uh, as we turn around this wall here. I spent oh, so this much wall. time on this thing. To tune we'll give the it climbing a... to get that all working right and um get a stamina bar. Well, for, for our, all of it, right? To just to, to feel good, to get to get the, the jumping, the reaching, like all that stuff working. But this was kind of like my little playground wall. Wow. Uh, that I that I pretty uh, cool. that I used. Uh, and this this is a good thing that showcases everything. We had we have mm -hmm. a unique uh, camera system that works for climbing. Uh, that oh, that get you uh, we have of... here. Uh, I, you know, we could place these handholds everywhere. Don't hit that top one yet because it'll trigger okay. an IGC, but just kind of play around, like, uh, on go down, yeah. down. kind of go down. I, even, even the way he lowers himself, look, he grabs between the, gets yeah, his center yeah. of gravity back around his hips. I like you can feel it in the controller room. though. It's like, you can't, yeah, you've got it. You've got and to then, play it to feel it. And, and even when you like, like span yourself across multiple handholds. So there's special idle animations that will play. So if you, you just hold, hold yourself there, in the middle, hold between them, you know, hold and like his hands start to yeah. shake, you know, all this kind of stuff. So, so oh, look at his left that's hand that's shaking. Kind of oh, my so God. Cool. Months during oh, the details. Man. Oh, my God. Uh, and you didn't know whatever does it, right? Like when you actually play the game, it's just like a sprint, right? You give them a dino jump and they're just going to dino jump their whole way through it. Like nobody ever does this. Yeah, but that's not true uh, always. Oh that's like, because that. I remember, again, I was in like Portal 2, there's like one segment where Stephen Merchant just ad libs for like 10 minutes. If you don't do something, you just just add right, this right. him, and and yeah, nobody does it, but it's it's like the coolest thing ever. You're like, oh my yeah. god, yeah. there's so Look at the much feet. more in this. 
Look at the legs yeah, trying to compensate. He's he desperate to get to that that's next spot, you know. So good. Oh my god, that's so cool. Not I love the camera, the, the way that it, it opens up to the to the vistas. Oh <laughs> yeah, look at this bird. Is that water like bespoke, or is it actually just a? Is it like a physics model that just goes here? Uh, that's those are all physics. Like, well, th those are all uh, uh, cards. Yeah. So like the the yeah particle team will kind of like build yeah, all these yeah, cards. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, so I think um, to go back. So come I should go back to where, to where I was. Yep, yeah, yep. yeah, come back to, and so try to climb up okay. uh, to that that handhold, and it'll pull, it'll trigger a little IGC. Okay, maybe we'll uh, we'll end it there. Look at that! I mean, just oh man, I know. No. You guys game. can um you you can play it just after this section. There will be like a combat yeah. section, and okay. then sure. and you know it's not it's not super um long winded, and then just oh, after shit. that. You encounter a cutscene, and that might be a good place to end oh, because that's, that's, that's the, the yeah, end of your demo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool, yeah. cool. You're happy to Look at that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Go again. I love this shit. So I've got to move yeah, around now. The subtle, front. So, so that that little like bit was all hand keyed uh, to, to yeah. get that working right. So, so I have to move the other way now. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, could have completely yeah. avoided it. And, cool, cool. You know, but yeah, this so this section here is where I had to figure out like working, you know, with with hanging without your with. You know, without your feet oh. braced. Oh, uh, that little you know, jump! System oh. working with that. So <laughs> this is so oh, good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and then, and this whole camera, like you can see, the camera is kind of like moving. Like so, so Kurt had kind of worked on this system where we had um, where the player is, and we place these different camera nodes, uh, and and then you can kind of like pivot around, but but based on the where you are on the wall, we could yeah. frame yeah. things right. We could okay now show we off like the pull background out and show the yeah. background. Well, it's probably uh, similar was... to what you were doing before with the the push the gentle push in, right? Where you just right it's sort of in that sort of world. Like, right, right. I like that it sort of looks like someone has already like climbed this wall and they've had the the chalk on the hands. Right. Yeah. Like, oh, cool. Yeah. Great. We really want to work. And, and a lot of that that's important. You know, it's like as much as we'd like to not have those obvious handholds. Like to. if you don't, yeah. then people Damn. don't know what to do. And they're just no, like, yeah. then, then there's they nothing like, more frustrating, right? Like running themselves into every wall that they see. You know, and that's that's the worst. It's funny. It's if you sort of think it's better, but it's not fun. Then like it's not fun right. if you like in those in in that's some cool. games where they haven't thought through that sort of stuff and you are like I, I literally I'm don't know what's a fail and what's a success. Mm -hmm. So you jump off and you're like, I'll be able to grab onto the no. Like, apparently I'm dead. Okay, cool. Well, what's right. the rules? Oh, yeah, no, it's one of those. No. Nah. Oh, like that, <laughs> for example. Like that's, that. the, that's the jump, though. Just, yeah. That is the jump. Do that better. Do that awesome. Do it not, Watch do it this. Good, and after that <laughs> jump, that's where we started the, the PSX. Uh, so we had a kind of special intro cutscene. Oh, no. Good, this whole IGC. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. No, no. So we had a special little intro cutscene, uh, and so the basically like this vista. If you look off to, to to the to the water here, this was the very first time people got to see the real game. It's like this wow. shot right here. Yeah. So we had direction you know, done. Bruce was kind of like playing the camera around slowly. Uh, Drake was I don't remember what he said. This is all online. You could, you could see his, his yeah, playthrough. Yeah, yeah, sure. um, but yeah, so this this was all kind of like built to wow the audience. Success. Yes, yeah, sold. Absolutely. You can yeah, use no. that direction there. Say I just less. If you, want. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm like, oh yeah, this is it. I'm done. <laughs> Sign yeah. me up. Right. Where's am it? I going? Which way am I going? Uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're going north. Right, go back inside. Okay, back sorry. Inside. Yeah. Um, I think you jump to something. Somewhere. Yeah, you'll need to climb a center pillar. So if you look around, you're gonna have to narrow that down there a little bit. <laughs> look around. Yeah, turn around. And go straight, oh, yeah. I believe. You go over oh, here. You go. That looks promising. Yeah, jump across. And jump across. Oh yeah! Look at that. Don't fail. Get that jump. Good. Treasure. And then take take a right. Treasure. Treasure. There we go. There we go. Where is he putting all these? No, there we go. Like, where are you stacking that? What part of your pants are you putting that mug in? I know. There, there we go. go. So jump to that pillar. Jump, jump to, to this pillar. Yes. There you go. Up. And upity up. Mhm. Mm Believe you, Todd. So they have this online, but I'm bummed that they didn't they didn't really capture the audience. Like they didn't think of putting a mic out in the audience. Oh. Uh, so oh. you miss like the experience the that, that the reaction uh and Slide down. Uh, I had I think on my phone like I was recording. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, so I have maybe I'll jump on the right. 
Oh wow! Um, but to get the, the actual live, like, Jeez, such yeah. a, you know, it's just people just people cheering like you know for every little jump or miss. Um, well, the it's like, the it's other like... one where they we did a good job, and I think Sony captured the audience was Last of Us Two. We mm. did that first reveal, and it was just a trailer. Yeah. But but it was the first time that we announced that we're effects. working on Last of Us Two, and the, the <laughs> fans just erupted. That was yeah. like, probably another. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, it's, it's similar to what oh. like we go through as actors, where you spend so much time in a, in like a big or a little room, just Hello. busting your ass trying to make something not suck. And yeah. You have no idea how you're doing, and then one day, it's all in one spot and it's all done, and you're like, Yeah. Oh my god, it's, it's finished. Are they gonna so. like it? You know? Yeah. And yeah. then yeah, you have these little one, these little moments where you get to come out of your bubble and go, Oh my god, people care. Yeah. <laughs> sort of I mean, I think that's feeling. the thing is, is any sort of artist or creator. I mean, you put yourself out there. You, you know, you do your best, and yeah, you don't know if it's gonna resonate with people. That's if, the risk, if you're just right? making it for you, 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 you know, but. Yeah, it's so rewarding. I always feel that's more successful, though. Right? When you make something that you truly care yeah. about, I, I see a lot yeah. of things that are made by committee in a way that are like, not in like a like a made as a team, but made by people going, well, this made money and that was successful, <laughs> so if we kind of Frankenstein these together, right, we'll make right. money, right? And you're like, right. oh, something, something really it's not me like get those down. kind of games oh, yeah. don't do these animations that you don't see because they don't. Right. They just want to get to the next thing. You try to then, climb up right. there. This, you're like, no, I really this. How cool would it be in those boots? Thing in it. I don't know. It makes it special. Yeah, like, it's it's that's really that's a ownership that, that yeah. we really try and, and lean in on i mean you know each of these different systems like we try to give as much ownership as possible this is where you first get the piton so grab grab that little piton in the wall oh yeah there you go here we go pull 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 trigger a reaction nice a little igc play sure yeah time. back to gameplay and then you've got the piton, piton sections. Yeah. Yes. So you see the texture on the wall. Any of those, the wall any of those uh, coral Oh, yeah. Wall. There you oh, go. Oh, that's so dope. Right. This is the... I love this shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, to... so now you have to use yeah. the piton it's as working. a bridge between you and those next handholds. Handholds, yeah. So, so you have to hit it. Do the piton a little bit higher. So climb back down to that ledge. Yeah. Then reach as high as you can, piton there. Or jump in square. Or oh, jump, yeah, 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 jump yeah, in yeah, piton yeah. as well. Yeah, so, so climb down yeah. and then jump in piton. There we go. Now, now you can. Oh, that's there you so go. dope. Beautiful. Oh. Be careful, man. Almost there. Oh, my God, this is so legit. Yeah, so good, right? so these were so fun. Oh, uh, man. I would say Legacy, we actually did even more, you know, with, with mm. the piton. Because there's a lot of potential with it. Uh, yeah, we sure. just got started on this game. This is a fun one. So you have to jump to this wall. Oh, and peat on it. And peat on it. Oh. And it like, slides do, down. Like, like if, you, if you get it like high up there, they had to like, yep. make this whole like, mark down the wall. Oh, are you like, kidding? I tried to as well. So awesome. yeah, Can we I do that now? Totally. They had to jump last minute. No. I think, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They wholesale stole this in Doom. There's like a whole thing where you get these gloves that like jump into walls that oh, have nice. textures on them and you slide so jump down. over there. Right. Yeah, yeah, ah, jump just that to that. Hop, skip, and now you're gonna do combat. So this is the way. first time we showed combat in Uncharted 4. Ah, okay. Uh, so we showed, yeah, we showed stealth. Oh, so we had the stealth thing? grass. Uh, so we wanted yeah, to showcase that it. early oh, yeah. on. So Pete's on that. Jump oh, and you're, trans oh, ah, you're, you're transitioning on the piton and stuff. Mm. Oh my god, yeah. the animation's crazy. So then climb down and hide into that grass. Oh, long grass action. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Don't oh, climb up there. Don't, that, that's there we go. The no, I'm going to a special it. spot. You guys don't know so, so that, what you just did, yeah. um, Bruce did in the live demo when he was playing the game. <laughs> no. Right? So it's like we had all these things scripted. It's like, okay, you're going to get that headshot. You know, we're going to have this character come around here. All you have to do is melee them at the right, you know, so all of it's like queued up for him to like, he's <laughs> at the right time. Yeah. You get the practice like crazy. Wait. Uh, oh, not good. Yeah. 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 But he hadn't thought of disabling the stuff. <laughs> and he jumped on a pillar and like instead of hitting X to jump up, he hit the circle and fell to his you left, bud. To my left? Okay. And that was like, you know, it's live. 
16,000 people. There's something not bad about that, though, because like, there is a certain sense of, like, oh, it's not it's really real live. Game. They've done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's yeah. live. It's embarrassing, but it's live. I mean, that's, no. that's why we, we did these live demos. It's, you know, back off in the time. Chop, 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 chop. Like, uh, got this gun. Old shots, you know, the trailers yeah. are like, yeah, this is the game, and it's like, it's not the game. There's a more fun time. We I think people felt like we needed to prove. Yeah, people know better, but and, and you know at the time, you know when the when the PlayStation Four, you know I don't think people would have believed these graphics necessarily. No way. You know, no way. so we had to really show that like, nope, we did it. We, we made this. Got you left. Got you left. Got you left. Oh shit! Okay, you some martial arts on me. Okay, bitch. How do you reload again? Get your gun. Uh. Is there a manual reload? There isn't R1. Oh no, R1 is the um, Okay. Just shoot, just shoot the run out of yeah, I'm just blasting. It's on easy, blasting, bro. I know, oh, this is way too easy. You can try um, square yeah, on right. the same. Sure. If you try square, it could be good. Same yeah, okay. I played a lot of Elden Ring, so when I was playing this yesterday, I kept trying to do oh, yeah. Elden Ring stuff. I was like, yeah. circle, yeah. damn it. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Triangle? Yeah, yeah, triangle. There we go. Oh no, the controls are all different. I mean, there's a lot of games in your there own you go, free time. I, you know, I, most people probably would not consider me a gamer uh, if I compare myself to a lot of coworkers. Uh, right. I have this rule in my, in my house uh, for the last 15 years I've done this where I only play games on an exercise machine. So I've got a treadmill at home. And no way. And I only play games like on one of those. A lot of Hearthstone, huh? Uh, yeah. The very first game I played was on PS2, it's Fatal Frame 2. I played it in the dark, on an elliptical, with the cords wow. and everything, you know, wandering through wow. that village. Uh, but yeah, no, I play on all the games on, on those, uh, and it definitely limits how much time. I don't, I don't have a lot of time uh, to play, uh, but yeah, I, I definitely enjoy games, but I, I wish I had more time to play. That's okay, you're making them. The that's pretty good. That I've, I've played this 12 <laughs> times. I, can't, I don't have time to play this. If I've got to make a choice, I'm going to play something that I've never played before. Of course. No, yeah, no. true. I wish I could. No, please. I want to no, see. No. I want to feel these haptic feedback. It's pretty yeah, cool. yeah. Like, even if you just it play it for 20 cool. seconds, just to be like, damn, like, wow. Yeah. I was yeah. like, what's going on here? I was like, what's, what's happening? I was like, oh, wow. funny, so, I, so I have a, a PS5, so Sony was yes. awesome enough to send all the Naughty Dogs a PS5 like the day that it came out. We had no idea that it was going to be such a hard thing to, to, to get. That's and so cool, I haven't been able to play it since. My son plays it all the time. He's on it every Good. day. He won't even let me touch it. I'm playing Elden Ring now on the PS4 yeah, because sure. he's, he won't let me play the PS5. That's, that's, that's you're like your daddy made this happen. You'd be like, I make yeah. this shit, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you understand? Uh, you know, you know, I have to let him play it. No, I know. It's, yeah, I'm, I, I'm enjoying my, my son's two and a half, but I'm like, I don't think I have much more time until he's like, Dad, we're not playing that game again. It's stupid. And I'm like, but it's mine. And he's like, too bad. Get off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's funny though that like you know your kids are, are probably going to be the same. They grow up around it, right? They they take it for granted. Like, oh yeah, yeah, this game, whatever. You know, like yeah, my yeah, kids yeah. don't <laughs> care at all. At like they're all. starting now that they're older. Like my daughter just graduated high school. My son just gradu graduated uh, middle school. So they're starting to get oh, old wow. enough that like. Okay, oh, wow. now now their it. friends are playing the games and they, they kind of it's know. It's got a little street cred. Yeah, down. yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, my kids are in Last of Us Two. Like they're oh, they've oh got really? Body likeness. Like I'm actually wow. in it too. Like all three of us are in there. That's you amazing. Can, the the snowball fight. Uh, one of the girls is my daughter. You can like oh my throw God. a snowball at her face. <laughs> no oh, way. They won't even tell their friends at school that like oh I'm I'm in Last of Us. They, they're just like oh. oh. It's embarrassing. It doesn't even really what? look like me, or you know, what? Like, they're just like, oh, I don't know. Like they, yeah, I they won't so. even tell anybody. Yeah, that's brutal. They don't care. That's yeah, so I, cool, I keep though. telling my son, I'm like, do you understand how good the stories I read you are? There's like characters, and they're well rounded, and they're fully formed, and they're not like doesn't appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't appreciate it. Wow, that is so pretty dark. So this would probably be towards the end of the. The Seems like Burns' so crew had about here, as much luck as me with this okay, treasure. Cool. All right, let's trigger that. One last. Yeah, David Drake breaks everything. That, baby. 
<laughs> I don't know how he broke this clip, but... Go, go, climb, 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 bro. Jump! Yes! There we go. Classic Drake. Nathan Drake, everyone. Yeah, Nathan Drake breaks things. The original working title of the game. Yeah. Um... Look well, that, that was a perfect. Beautiful. That was a perfect playthrough. I think we got through oh, uh, look. a lot of yeah. good stuff to, to, to show and talk really about. Dude, that was incredible. I'll do one last little oh. uh, slide throw to, okay. to give. Uh, oh yes, please. Yeah, walk, this was please. Our, our Naughty Dog animation. The zero the game. Oh, so wow. there's so many uh, people in that photo. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, we have a large team. We we build the doing? teams for the game, really? so yeah, you know, we have a core I mean, team of animators that are with us all the time. The and then you know, as the so game go you know, some grows in scope, twelve hundred IGC that. animations, especially because they come late in production. That's a team that we build up, you know, for, for that production. And so that's this was our Naughty Dog team, and then we also are very close partners with Sony VA. Crazy um, they Let's do a lot of our cinematic animations. Um, okay. that they kind of Wait. work on the, the details of that. Like we, we're kind of like the brainchild. We capture like, it and we kind of like do the edits and kind of get it all uh, stood up. And the then uh, we work with them to, to do kind of the fine you? polish on it. Um, um, so their team was probably at least this size I sure the hell uh, for, for a lot of that. So it's a massive team of wow. animators. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're very proud of this team. Utopia didn't pan out. Very, very talented and maybe people that, we're just that swept up in this fantasy. Things, so. And some of those people have been animated into that shot even, I can see. Yeah. yeah. Correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the so guy on the far left. So this guy here, he uh, he and I were the leads of the interactive uh, cinematics. And he was out. It's so hard to coordinate. Like, okay, we're, I'm going to do this photo shoot with everybody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everybody meet the park on this day. And he's like, I can't be there that day. I'm like, do you have an idea what I put on the light? Yeah, yeah. Give me a photo. Light it like this. Uh, so it's like him and the guy in the back. There's nothing to do with that. Yeah, I saw that with the sunglasses. Everything to do with Yeah, so, so. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. This this is our team. Uh, this is McCall. Amazing. He's the guy that did the the physics uh, animations that you saw. Uh, Andrew did a lot of the melee um, animation. Uh, Rico, him out by shirt he color. did. Call him out he by did. Shirt uh, yeah, a we lot have of to player see. animation. So call him by shirt color because we can't see the cursor. <laughs> oh but yeah, white shirt, badass looking guy. Uh, yeah, yeah. He did, he did a lot of the the player animations. Wow. Uh, Eric, he's mm -hmm. our cinematic lead, so he's kind of the guy kneeling on the, the far right. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, uh, so he's been here. He's been at the studio almost as long as I have. So I've been here wow. for close to 20 years. Uh, so Whoa. he's probably like 18 or 19 years at least. Uh, Troy you behind him. You get <laughs> yeah, yeah. We get, every five years we get a new trophy. Wow. Uh, Actually. So, yeah, it's like a, it's oh, like a last that's flag legit. with a naughty dog paw on it. So, uh, cool. so I have I have three of those so far. I'm gonna get my wow. fourth double decade dog uh, in wow. a couple months. That's wild. Wow. Um, but yeah, so what yeah, age? This, this is the team. Great. What great age people. did you start? Did you start at Naughty Dog? Twelve, I think. Yeah, yeah I was, I was like... twelve. You know, just graduated <laughs> elementary school and uh, <laughs> just lead animator straight in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we like uh, what he does. I was I was twenty. Or 25. Wow. I had just wow. gotten okay. married, uh, and then we made a big change and, and sure. came to Naughty Dog. That's so good. Out. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, and I, I'm going to retire here. I love the studio. Yeah, yeah. I love the team. You know, yeah. I, part, you know, we, we make great games, and I and I love that. But what I honestly like the the my kind of little low key thing that that that, that I love the most is the team that we built. Uh, you know, and we're always kind of like building and adding to that team and uh, just working with those uh, men and women and, um, you know, being part of something together and, and making these games, giving them ownership over things, uh, mm. just watching their careers grow, yeah. you know, and sometimes they outgrow the studio and they like nine out of 10 people that leave our team become leads at some other studio. Okay. So uh, it's really yeah. cool for me to be kind of part of that journey you know and, and that development and kind of like, yeah you know yeah just just have to see them develop on the team and and grow up and move out of the house in a way you know? yeah so, uh... <laughs> going and start their <laughs> own little that, family uh, yeah, that I've, yeah. Seen, I've spoken to from the company has been phenomenal so yeah you guys yeah. are doing a good thing it's hard to do 
Yeah, no, I, I, I think if you talk to anyone who's, who's worked with us, uh, hopefully they'll say great things. But yeah, it's, it's such a great experience to, to work with this team. And, and not only animation, I mean, every department is one of they're some of the best in the world at what they do, you know, and you get inspired, you know, it, towards the end of the game, I think that's when all the details start to come together. You know, it's like you're, you're used to working with these like low res block mesh you know things all the yeah. time and then yeah. suddenly you like boot up a level and you're like oh my gosh like the lighting suddenly yeah. turned on you know yeah, or like yeah. oh the effects team like went in and made like footprints work you know you can see yeah. like where yeah. it was dusty you know drake's footprints and, and it, you know it gets so exciting because you're just like oh that makes me want to make the animations better Oh, yeah, God, so yeah true. So, yeah it's, it's, so, it's cool. so fun to see all those different parts that come together far out man you have you have been so phenomenal jeremy this is this has been mind-blowing for for i'm sure everyone who's who's watched and i think this is going to carry a lot of um continual sort of views as well like as as people sort of discover that you've shared so much information and given so much insight into it i don't think this has ever been done before has it i mean this kind of insight history of internet no one's ever given insight Nice. <laughs> no, 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 no one's no. We, I mean, on this sort of gaming level of this kind yeah. of game and this oh, kind of right. this kind of tiered game as well. I mean, incredible. Thank you so much for your time and also for Absolutely. for supplying those those visuals as well. Because obviously, such a visual medium, you know, we've never been able to have anyone who's who's got the support visual to be able to go along with your stories and give an insight into the background as well. Not so brought anything, any, not one. no one's brought nothing. We should just cancel it. <laughs> Let's just. It's just fire him. <laughs> uh, no one's awesome, though. No, he's oh, awesome. legend, legend. He brings the comedy. Yeah, he brings yeah. funny out of the, out the wall. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Um, I, mean, I mean, just working with him on set, you know, yeah. like he's you're just in tears all the time because he's always yeah. on. Like I always describe he's him as so like the Robin funny. Williams. Like yeah. he, he doesn't shut up. But like, <laughs> but he's hilarious. And you're just like, you know, we have to we have to get the scene done here. But like. I know. You know him playing with with some you know tennis ball in the corner there. <laughs> you're just just a vending machine of comedy and one liners and stuff. Yeah, like yeah, it's, it's just hard. like. Yeah. Just... But those like those vintage voice actors like again I've I've sat like like Billy West and um, DiMaggio doing their own 1950s radio show in oh, the bus just yeah. just cause they were bored and you're like yeah, well, I mean right. I can't do any work this is I'm gonna watch this now. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no, Mo- Nolan's one of a kind. He's amazing. Yeah, Uncle Nolan. Yeah. We love you, Uncle Nolan. Um, thank you so much. Yeah, mate. Yeah, um, absolutely. Thanks for having me. Um, thank you so much, Jeremy. It's been incredible. I'll wind up the um, outro. Do it. Do so it. give me that. It's already it's set up. Thanks, guys, Do for it. being okay. here too and sticking around and being Thanks, legends Chad. and watching this. Thanks and for um, Thanks for the love. Thanks for the yeah. questions that we probably didn't get enough of. Yes, get to of them. we're back next week, aren't we? For Uncharted, are we? Pagan? We're hoping we so. We still video? are TBC on some guests, so I would probably mm-hmm. stay tuned on social media because we'll update you then. If we need to push out to accommodate a guest, we will do, and we'll fill it with something awesome. Fill it with something Jeremy, epic. Jeremy, tell your friends, say say good things about us. Yeah. All right, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Say join the show. <laughs> 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 All right, gonna roll the creds. Thanks, guys, for being here. Yeah. Outro Thank coming. You right. See you next week. Oh, my God.